you walk up and make yourself make your way inside. Hey, wildcard, you heard the same message, but you have remained at your post at the bottom of the stairs. You see Dahi kind of enter in. Oh, hey, what's up? It is I, the wild card. But you already knew that, because we are on the same team. Yes, how's it going, wild card? It's all good. Yeah. There's kind of been uh, standing here while the boss uh, is up there talking to someone. I'm not really sure who. Ah, I gotcha. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Hold on a moment. Dahi, your six cents card sense triggers. You sense a deck of cards. You approach does, it. Does anyone own these? No one responds. <laughs> Can I have them? <laughs> uh, you could have some of them wild cards, don't we? They'll go good with these ones I found. He pulls out his thing of cards that he found earlier. Dahi's deck like snaps around. <laughs> More cards, you say? Like an, I imagine like an owl's is 360 back. <laughs> it's horrifying. Uh. <laughs> so you obtain the category card. Uh. So, do you want these cards too? Only some of them. It's mostly just a fun little thing to collect a bit of them. <laughs> I knew you'd say something similar to those exact phrasings you said. For I, once we are done with this, have a little wager. <laughs> and I'm going to activate a bet is a bet. <laughs> You're activating the... Wait, hold on. I'm going to ask Dahi to do a bet in order to get the cards. If he wins, okay. he gets the cards. Oh, <laughs> a bet, you say? Well, I am a bit of a gambling man. What did you have in mind? Hmm. I'm not sure, honestly. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to activate the special evolution for a moment. I was like, what? <laughs> no, no, the normal effect. <laughs> Which Go says once per session you can activate the ability called bet as a bet. And yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Right. Um, so. Because he is a player character, it's up to hit. I, I'm not going to leave it to a precision check mm -hmm. if he accepts it, but it does seem like Dahi is down. All right. Hmm. I suppose Dahi you could choose like to bet if you wish. But no, I won't lose. Unlike the other times I have lost to you in our bets. I, you still owe me 20 bucks, by the way. In any case... I'll get back to you on you that. <laughs> hmm. How about a drinking game? But not with liquor. With hotel water. Ugh. Oh, that's... That's dastardly. I love it. <laughs> he laughs maniacally. Ah, but only when we're done with everything, of course. Now, I think it'd be very unprofessional just walk away, especially when there's monster things coming for us. Oh, aye, that should be alright. Oh, man, can you imagine how pissed the captain would be? Oh, yeah, I'd probably get shot at again. Oh, aye, yeah, he totally would. Yeah. Especially if you had one drink again. Oh, that would not be fun. No, 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 it would not. Remember, remember in our last troop brigade, uh, when I... I did a mishap and then I got shot at by our, by our superior. Not not painfully so, but like at the ground. That was not fun. No, it, it well, honestly was kind of fun to watch, but it wasn't fun for you, I imagine. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> I, I was quite startled, I must say. Well, in any case, let's go see if the captain has a game plan going on with uh, what's going to be bearing down on us. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it should be fine down here. It should be fine. These people look mostly... Um, you see the old waiting. man bit in the distance. They're waiting for, to, for someone to throw a party. Also, Johnny was here not too long ago. I think we might get pizza. Wait, there's a pizza over there. Maybe we should grab a slice before we head out. You can do that if you want. Right. I'm not quite so hungry after I had to tangle with, uh, oh, hell, 
uh, how, what's the best thing you can think of when you think of a fallen angel? Lucifer himself. Okay, I that's all about him in Sunday school. Okay, yeah, me and Paul had to fight something like that, but uglier. Oh. Well, it did say in the Bible, Lucifer was beautiful. And I believe that. I never really understood why the Bible kept on talking about that. I don't know. If they didn't want people to pay attention to him, they'd have made I... him less hot. I think it's because if something is so beautiful, it can still be corrupted. <laughs> Alright, you guys anyway, going? Anyway, I'm gonna go to the cop. Before I head up, I grab a slice of pizza and then head up. <laughs> before we get too sidetracked, yes. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, uh, your memory. Feel free to use the thing of categories. Let's just say you took a few from, you know, but. The gather the collection that is something that we'll handle later. A bet for the collection or just cards in general is something that we'll pick up at another point where uh, civilian lives are not currently on the line. The epilogue. You the one that you found here was werewolves. Um, it causes the it replaces the enrage effect, which their enrage effect makes the target only able to use their action to attack and they also can only use basic attacks unless they have some sort of um, feat or ability etc that allows them to use it otherwise you're one away my friend one away you're almost there okay and I will soon have it once I capture this Johnny person Johnny's currently locked in a shower Exactly, he's easy pickings. Yeah. Alright, we're picking up directly after the last session. I believe she got up because there's stuff to be done. As of currently, you guys have discussed the current plan of action is to gather as many civilians up and bring them to a location that currently is undecided. However, the current plan is to do that before going down to, well, one of the entrances she knows to of the doctor's underground laboratory. However... You guys do have a moment before we kick things off to talk to both her with any additional questions. And more importantly, someone that's been remaining quiet in the corner of the room this entire time. <coughs> I am... I am not sure... I'm not sure which ones that we can actively get to help us. I'm sure all of them will listen to me. However, regardless if, regardless of who we have, we simply do not have enough people to gather everyone up in the city. We can try our best, but it's going to be a hard one. You have to try, though. I won't leave them out here while we go down into that I place. I doubt, I doubt the doctor will, will attempt to leave, escape somehow, without what he's after. Is he after? I've already told you, he's trying everything he can to bring back his daughter that mm -hmm. was lost. Well, when you said he's after something, I assumed you meant an item, but yeah, I got you now. Very much where I'll be at this point. Two people, you hear footsteps coming up the stairs. Well... In actuality, Wildcard is, like, running up the stairs to catch up as he has a uh, piece of pizza in his mouth. 
can you all believe what I caught? Oh! Oh man, this is a... Uh... Uh... Huh. Hey, what's up? I got some pizza. Oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. It's an ambush. Get down! <laughs> Jumps on Donnie. <laughs> to, like, it... Get down. <laughs> Wild card, I think, is fine. It... I appreciate the sentiment, but I have a feeling things would be way more chaotic if, <laughs> if it were an actual ambush. Also, I don't think anyone has any of their weapons out. You don't know, they could be <sighs> invisible. Get off the floor. Yes, sir. He gets up. <laughs> yeah, we uh, came to an agreement. I'm starting to uh, doubt your squad's abilities at this point. Oh, an agreement? Uh, would that include the uh, feathered fellow? One that looks like an angel but with goat horns? No, oh, that one. Yeah, he's um, he's kind of handcuffed a lot in the the cop car right now. Paul's looking after him. Kind of assaulted us in a church. He killed everyone in there. Well, uh -oh. okay, I'm pretty sure the bear bird <laughs> things killed everyone in there, but he at least killed the reverend. Mm. Oh, y you didn't tell me that part. Well, that's not great. He's kind of thinking in the back for a moment. Honestly, never thought that kid had it in him. No, what? I don't think that he is a part of our deal. Oh, good. We'll probably just lock him up in the jail then. Murder's murder, after all. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Hi, Francis. <laughs> How's it going, boy? Oh, it's like me. Remember our talk in the forest? No, he pats him on the back. He likes <laughs> He's so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, hey. Um, oh shit, I should probably let him out at this point. Yeah, did you know that there's pizza downstairs? Yeah. It's a whole party. I mean I, I mean, I have the guy in here that made it. No way. Oh my gosh, he's Johnny! Johnny! <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. No, man, it's me. Remember you delivered me pizza? I gave I you know. like $20. I gave you like $20. Yeah, but your like boss also like broke into my house, man. Boss. Boss. Oh, my friend. He now walks with a limp. Oh, yeah. How's your leg doing, by the way? <laughs> I feel like all the tense atmosphere no, just please. kind of evaporated away. Yeah, I have that effect on the room. It's my. <laughs> Leg to it. <laughs> he says, kind of under his breath at you. <laughs> <laughs> I. Hey, boss man, you didn't happen to see any cards at that place, did you? Um, I don't know. There might have been cards in the front room. Johnny, you don't happen to have cards at your place, do you? What do you mean, cards? Like. Well, like playing cards. Like, pl like poker cards? anything really yeah i have a uh, hold on let me think let me think oh i'm not allowed to play poker i you know lose all my money and all that uh, I, the downside of it. uh we have like that uh ever heard of the game buzzed buzzed yeah it's like a card game that you, you play when you drink i don't drink oh, interesting don't think i have that one I mean, I, I technically drink because I have to get water into my system, but I don't drink alcohol. I've never been more interested in a card game. Uh, okay, <laughs> guys, I know that the card game sounds all interesting and stuff, but we have bigger problems right now. <clears throat> right. Oh, hi, I'm Ace Spades. Uh, I'm out of card. <laughs> nice to meet you. Ace <laughs> Spades. Wild card. I suppose this one introducing himself. <laughs> Batteries is kind of. Fraser, if you remember, the one thing that you have yet to talk to is frankly what Battery wants out of this deal. That is something that was left 
unknown the last time. But, as it currently stands, he kind of lowers his head for a moment and says, Yeah, I kind of need to go back to Johnny's place anyways. What for? I have something that might come in handy. It's, um... I don't know what it is. Kind of this bluish liquid. It, uh... Makes my gift a whole lot stronger. I don't know what that doctor has... I don't know what the doctor has in his... What he has in store. Can it make my knife throwing stronger? He shrugs. It's Might have to invest. It's what I stole for him. Ah, uh, okay. But I... Doctor? Yeah, what's with this doctor guy? I, I, this is the first time I'm hearing of this. Uh, long story short, he's like the mastermind behind all the stuff that's been happening. No, trying that to, would make sense. Yeah, trying to bring his daughter back. Going after him, made a deal with her to let them go, as long as they help us. Uh... Alright, so, what are we doing? Main goal right now is to attempt to get as many civilians as we can safe in one spot. Probably, preferably near the center of the city. So that we can at least feel safe about them while we go down into the base. And then the police station is right near the center of town. And when I checked there with Paul, they got a lot of the robots on the racks charging. You'd have a fair decent force to defend them with there. Alright. Yeah. As, as of I'll... right now, I doubt that we have much time. Considering we're near the edge of what I assume is the swarm. And the ah. fact that... Oh. We are working together now. If they know that you are here for whatever reason, then this place will be immediately swarmed. We are on the edge of the town, after all. So whatever we end up doing, we need to, des to decide quickly. Unless we want to fight the horrors of those creatures. Yeah, uh, we should get moving. Yeah, yeah that'd probably like be a good idea. Uh Start with the people downstairs. Yep. Let's go. Malkar. Da da da. Da da da. Come on, Johnny. Let's go save the day. What? <laughs> We're gonna save the town. He like pretends to push up sunglasses like in a cool manner. But there are no sunglasses, but it doesn't look cool. He just basically pokes his, like, the bridge of his nose. Yeah. All right. You all kind of make your way downstairs quickly. Charlotte kind of comes over this way. Oh, God, what now? Get your things unless you want to be torn apart by, by horrendous creatures. Uh, excuse me? They call them beards. Fine, fine. Anything for you, gorgeous. I'm going oh. to strangle him one day. That's a fair assessment. Is he just like that with every girl? No, oh, uh, he's... I... I'm not sure. He typically gives up after one or two lines, but he has never given up with me over the past... Hmm... Ten years. Something in that vein. <sighs> Spit. We'll be leaving. He lets out another kind of large one, finishes his beer, and stands up and just slowly walks over. This this man looks to be... It's weird. 
it, he kind of looks like he's probably like mid 60s but he looks like he's one of those people that have gone through the ringle ringer their whole life and have been aged severely oh this old man just kind of slowly comes over this way he looks at all of you the spits on the ground next to him so so you are aware spit cannot speak no, it is the price of him being a veteran within the division wars themselves. Got to burn across his neck. So, did that spit mean he likes us? Well, he hasn't spit you at you yet, so... That's pretty mm. nice. If he tries to spit in your eyes, that just means that he surely hates you and hopes you die. Well, that's good to know. Got it. Alright. So, we're going to go over here for a second. Alright. So it's just to explain this, and I will give you a second to do interact with each other, do scenes within the bar itself here in a moment. Because once everything starts kicking off, I doubt that we'll have such a cheer old time where we can do scenes like um, making a bet about cards, etc. Um, Probably not. Because once, once this kicks off, it is just going to be a full on, I guess, sprint to the finish is the best way to describe it. It is starting the storm outside, so I hope my power does not cut off. It's storming here, too. Um. So. Yeah, we're gonna murder Pembroke for a second. Good. So, I'll drag you guys up. Let me grab the other characters that are currently in in the bar itself. Um. I will say now, this is where he's going, regardless of what anybody tells him. He is going because his sister is in danger. <laughs> so you can drag yourself and you can also discuss what your plan is. Because if you want somebody to go to the police station early and get that set up as a stronghold, that is something that you can do. Um, so you could have one person on police station duty and move move there so every location besides the high school and the destroyed hut on the map has a chance of somebody being there regardless if they're a named npc or not this is basically determining the percentage of how many people make it out of the city alive um so I'm gonna get some music yeah. on to so got four vehicles that's the fast you could split heavy you could send a group of uh npcs there as well that won't be shown it will just be rolled right however the longer you wait to go to locations the longer it will it, the higher higher chance of you know it being bad it's just because time has passed currently as it stands yeah. you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven locations to hit uh, we should Battle. probably focus on the outer locations first, right? Like Clearwater Hills, the... So, my thinking Toronto, is yeah. that we split up into four groups, and then we move inward. Yeah. Grab people all the way. So, like, we have one person, like, one group right here, one group right here, um, one group right here, and, then, like, one group like in this area well we have to go to specific locations now eh? yeah name locations are where you're basically mm -hmm. searching i will basically consider it as that searching that area so if you go to brooklyn side yeah. parkway obviously the map what we have is only a short section of a long road i will consider it the entirety but the scene itself will be taking place at brookside parkway um same thing with Johnny Pizza and stuff like that. It is name locations that are markers on the map currently, besides right. the high school and destroyed hut. So. I was just selecting areas as like a starting point, like go yeah, down, yeah. like towards. Um, I, 
Battery did say he was going to go to Johnny's because of his oh stuff, shit, right? that's right. Um, he will not. He will not. Uh, obvious like go there alone per se. Yeah, he Johnny doesn't do think it's something like so. If you talk to him a little bit more, he doesn't think it's something that is necessary, but something that he really does think he needs. Um, so that is something that he would like to go there, and that is also a point of interest too for you guys to go there to see. Because Johnny's Pizza is technically open. Dear God, he is irresponsible, isn't he? He's just chilling at a party <laughs> when his his store is open. Is the oven on? I don't know. You want me to roll for it? Yeah. Oh, God. It is not. <laughs> okay. He's responsible today. Yay! Well, if he's going there, I might as well tag along so I can grab the cards while I'm there. Because, because yes. What I would suggest is... You can always send da or so, not Dahi, you're Dahi. Somebody else there to get, grab them for you. That's okay in my book. We've already done that. We've already broken your collectible. <laughs> yeah, but someone else could also go with Paul. Like, where, where Paul's heading, he'll be able to hit Brookside Parkway down to, like, Pearl's Path and maybe either the That's... cathedral or the school before he gets to yeah. the police station so are we just ignoring the station which is literally right next to the outskirts no we need one group to go to the gas station and since that one's so close to the outskirts that needs to be a bigger group because that is so likely to be overrun but even if we hit it first mm -hmm. could be amelia and frazier that could be a good that's a good group in my opinion yeah, you two are heavy guns, so that would work yeah. at least. So, let's see. With you two at Johnny's Pizza, you could also hit Golden Flower Bakery and the Graveyard. Yeah, well, that's the thing. What if, what if we Clearwater start? And what if we start you two at Clearwater, and then after you're done with that, you can go to Johnny's Pizza? That'll work. That way we'll hit the trailer park, get the people out from there, then we'll hit up Johnny's Pizza and then end up hitting either the graveyard, the flower bakery, or heading to the police station, depending on where else everyone goes. Right. Let's see. I think we should have someone... Well... You so basically can... have three groups right now. You have one, right. somebody going to Brookside Parkway, the gas station, and Cl Clearwater Hills. Right. Uh, so we you could have send... one more location that you can basically lock in at this point. We could send Wildcard with uh, Paul. Just so we have... Um, and then you can send like yeah. an NPC group elsewhere. Yeah. All right. We might want to send one more person with... Uh, Frazier and Amelia, just because it's right on the outskirts. I'm kind of worried about there being things there. Uh, like we could grab... Uh... Johnny. No, we're <laughs> not taking Johnny to the outskirts. We could send Johnny to the police station to go ahead. Oh, I was God, gonna say, no. <laughs> send the NPCs to the center where there aren't a lot of monsters right now. Sorry, is this Johnny alone trying to convince the police officers that there's like a pandemic happening on the outside is a funny thought to me. Um, <laughs> we could have him go to Evelyn's Grotto. It's not too close to the edge of town and far enough away that I trust that they'd be able to get stuff done there and then move closer in. Mm -hmm. I'm slowly giving you guys access where you can move these tokens. So. What if we take him with us and then these three can go to the oh, grotto. Gosh. Oh yeah, that won't be awkward at all. <laughs> it's, See, it's fine. There's more pressing matters, alright? We'll, we'll take Johnny with us over here. It'll be fun. <laughs> we, could, we could have Johnny go to like the graveyard and like the Golden Flower Bakery and then meet up with you By two. himself? I don't know. So, I, here's a big factor. Not everybody knows there's a horrendous apocalypse going on. So there's two approaches to this that you might arrive at. They're already there, right? You have to, like, fight through and see if anybody's survived the moving in of these creatures. And B, if they're not there, you have to convince these people that these horrendous monsters are coming into maybe, the police station. Maybe we should send 
one of us on each group just so there's like an authority figure to convince these people to go to the police station i will say you do have kind of they do have authority in the terms of this is a small town meaning right. most people probably right. will recognize who these people are johnny however you guys have seen his criminal record <laughs> yeah johnny's coming i i have the reason that clearwater hills group has any credibility at the moment <laughs> All right, so if that with that case, you will most likely have to hit three locations. Yeah, we're probably gonna hit Clearwater Hills. We'll hit up either the graveyard or the bakery, but we'll still have to end up hitting Johnny's Pizza. Yeah, you have to go to three locations besides Clearwater, and then get to the police station. So basically, the way it works is you can hit four locations each time. Um... There is 11 locations to hit if you decide to hit all locations. Some that you might just decide to abandon. Um, is um, have, is it a worthy sacrifice to sacrifice the butt's junkyard? I don't know, because there might actually be people out. I don't know. Who goes out should, to the should, junkyard? Should we hit? Should me I mean, and Paul hit butt's junkyard? If someone's car broke down, then they could go there, too. But you basically have 11, so... Theoretically, you can hit all points within three goes. So, three this time slots. Um, it's My just what you want to prioritize. Also, something to keep in mind, some of you know that NPCs are in this location, like Brookside Parkway, there's obviously NPCs there. Um, mm -hmm. Golden Flower Bakery, the graveyard has the gravekeeper. Um, the gas station, you don't know, but you can assume probably somebody's working there, or was working there. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, we could let's... do... So, we can each hit three, correct? No, I, I was just saying, if you split up into four groups, you can finish it, hit every point in three goes. You yeah, don't have you to can... split up in four groups. You could go as bigger groups, like, for example, the gas station, because it's so close to the edge, might have a higher... There might already be there, so you might have to fight through some. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say um, we're probably good for this being our first round. We can worry about where we want to go second when we get to it. Yeah. All right. What interesting groups we have. <laughs> <laughs> this this right. shall indeed be interesting. Fucking Ace and Paul. Let me roll for this real quick. For the NPC group. Think about if there's any kind of final scenes that you want to do before you basically are basically teetering out of the eye of the storm right now to gather as many people as you can. Uh, as they're leaving, Ace would probably whisper, kind of, in his typical Ace whisper. <laughs> it's a strange uh, whisper. <laughs> yeah. Probably be Good like, idea. so. Is the doctor the same Dr. Nikolai of Avilia? Uh, the same guy who's like the father of Theodora of Avilia? Vavilov? Vavilov. Vavilov. I'm bad with names sometimes. You know this. Brooks and... <laughs> Sorry. I'm so he, he's, like whispering, still me. <laughs> he's whispering to Fraser for confirmation. You can basically say that Frazier gave you the the very simplified yeah. rundown of what's going on, so you have that knowledge as a character. Um, well, he was asking because I wanted to be like, yeah, like, <laughs> Frazier like, wait, how did you know that? I read the files. Because <laughs> Ace reads all the files. He's the most <laughs> diligent freaking squad member. <laughs> Ace just actively reads all the files they get. He likes reading. No, no, that just means there's only seven Beards in the area. Alright. <laughs> I fucking love it. that's just what we call them. <laughs> Jay distinctly makes them owl bears, thinking we'll call them owl bears. <laughs> no, I honestly did not care about that one. The one that got me uh, was Lion. Or Ryan. 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 <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. He's dead. Uh, Has anyone told Ace about that yet? No. Alright. That would be a fun surprise if we go to the graveyard. 
Oh. All right. You arrive, pulling up to the Warren home. You both step out real quick as you, well. Ah, shit, hold on. Scroll things back. Is there any scenes that anybody wants to do? I kind of autopiloted there. Is there any scenes that anybody wants to do with each other or anybody within the bar itself? Uh, I did my scene already. Yeah, I think I had enough, uh, faffing about. Okay. And Raise your Amelia. Um, I would like to ask Battery what he wants out of this whole thing. Kind of important. Go yeah. for it. All right. We will go back to the inside here. All right. So as most people are making their way out, you get a moment to stop battery. And he is one of the last ones to exit with you. Uh, Francis. Yeah. I'm assuming you want out of the city too, but is there something else here? Wanting out of this deal? His head kind of droops down for a moment. I want out with Fee. Theodora. I'm not leaving without her. What do you mean? Part of me, I don't know, part of me thinks that part of me thinks that there's still a chance that the doctor could bring her back. She can return. Maybe there is. But regardless of I want out with her. If it's just her body or whatever she does. I'll see what I can do. He kind of like shakes his head at that. Kind of agree with Charlotte on that one. Saying something like that is just a hope. You're giving a hope to people that you can't follow through with. Let me put it this way. I'm I'm going to leave with Theodora. That's He deserves that at least. I won't hesitate if you try to stop me with that. Not this time. Yeah, I hear you. Proceeds to make his way down. With that, everyone proceeds to leave. As they do so, they hear a rustling, a movement within the bu bushes. As now, it is only a matter of time. A matter of time to save every single person. Wild card. 
You and Paul arrived directly here, pulled into the yard, and immediately hopped out. But what you see in front of you is that the door is broken in. Immediately, Paul pulls out his pistol and begins to go as fast as he can towards the door. You Ace fall in join. after. Okay. Ace will join pulling out his combat knife. As you enter in, you see several, several of the creatures digging around the household. Right. Hey, wild card. Hey, what's Give me up? initiative roll. Yeah, all right, sure, whatever. If you roll another yeah. nat twenty, I'm gonna strangle you. Because every nat twenty you do is on initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope I don't get one on my initiative because I want to use it for other things, man. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I am still the fastest thing alive. That's That's not the one that's appropriate for this. Okay. Mm. Alright. Wild card. You hear one rustling in the corner. Some down the hall. But there's one clear in front of you. Take it away. I'm going to rush over. And then stab this thing. Go for it. Good roll. Oh I'm a god. god. I didn't mean to roll build there. I meant to hit toughness. 16. You immediately rush forward, stepping past Paul and jumping and stabbing into this creature before it can even respond. It goes limp. All right. Paul rush forward. Yeah, he's going to pistol raise. He's going to make immediately two shots. Or not two shots, one shot. He does not have that. Come on, Paul. I believe in you, Paul. Bro. Cuts it out. Hell bears go. This one will rush. This one will rush forward. Oh no. This one will move here. Alright. This activates one of their advantages. So this has a plus two on its attacks. going to my things from my click the uh, save tab. Oh, no worries. Um, two of them rush up. One, he kind of like kicks off with his foot, but he doesn't see the one coming out of the kitchen as it jumps up and claws him in the side. Blood card, it's your go. You will. Well, I'm up there. If you want to like uh, hop off on the table or anything like that to get around and get more space, you can. Yeah, all right. You're I athletic will... or a, a, agile enough of a character to do this. All right. He'll go up and then jump down and go down for a strike. Stab into the beast again. Okay, go for it. Bruh. Yeah, you jump up on this and you kind of lose balance as this, this kind of end table here, the side table, is just... um not able to hold your weight as one of it buckles in and you kind of fall forward losing your balance and landing over this way all right Dude. Paul instead of shooting is just going to kind of throw his gun to the side and he immediately just becomes this kind of he leans down in his hands to the side again and you just hear him kind of almost like growl in anger as he's just going to pick up one of these things and try to chuck it that was a two that's unfortunate. I know yeah. your pain, Paul. I know your pain. Just <laughs> able to chuck it this way back into the kitchen. How will those go? This one will move down. 
Okay, one at you, one at um Paul. Paul. This first one is at you with a plus two, so that's a five, and the second one's at Paul with a thirteen. Hey. Uh which roll? Uh this is uh parry, it's a physical attack. Barely. Oh, Jesus Christ, Paul. Oh no. Paul takes another injury. You're able to... Yeah, you just parry that. Yeah. So we'll use his action to move down. Wild cards, here we go. I am going to... Stab the one that's attacking Paul. Okay. I'm going to save my guy. It's better. Going for all basic attacks, I see. Bro. Dodges of the or parries out of the way. They're both the same stat. Paul, for the love of God, that was another two. Paul, why? Yeah. Okay. Kind of pushes that one back. Aloe bears go. They immediately rush up on you. These all three attacks will be at you with a plus three. All right. First one fails, so I need two parry checks versus all an right. eight and a 14. All right. All right. You fell one, but parry enough. Are you striking back? Uh, Yes, I will. Okay, go ahead and roll me that toughness check, though, for the second one. Let's just get that squared away. Yeah. How many injuries? One. All right. Now attack back with your uh, knife on the second one. All right. Bro, what the hell? All right, it's back to your turn. Go. All right. I am going to do wield knife. Okay. So that's a fighting roll plus one. Which target? Um. Do you attack yeah. two with that one? It's been a while. Yeah, since I do. Seen. Okay. I do. Uh, the one in front of me. That I that's you're I that's hard to tell. So it's like this one like, in front of me. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was busy with my sheet. Thinking about a three D space when you're surrounded by three is kind of hard, there, man. No, so that's a plus three to both of them. Okay. Is there no minus on the second roll, or is it just uh, minimum? Hold on, I'll double check. Just so I'm aware going uh, forward. Second attack suffers a minus two. The second one's a plus one. Yeah. Okay. 18 plus causes a status effect based on whatever throwing knife is rolled. So, I so gotta you, you need to roll, roll that. The Etsy. Fails to the first one, fails to the second one. Alright. That uh, would be a normal knife. Alright. So nothing happened. However, it is dead. Hell yeah. Alright, Paul. Paul, my guy. I believe in you. So he's going to use one of his powers. That's an eight. He cannot roll for anything. I think that's another two. He has rolled three twos in a row. In a row. Oh he's my god! Solid two man. I could he be like a solid twenty man? I wish. No. All right. Owl bears. Okay, both are at you again. All right. Uh, one is going to attempt to pluck at you. That is an 16 that you have to fight. Oh boy. Is it just plucking at your arm? All right. And the other one is just going to attempt to slam into you, and that's a 17. All right. So, which uh, is which? parry and then a dodge roll. All right, parry. Okay, dodge. you're able to stop that. You're unfortunately unable to stop the dodge or this. So this one kind of plucks at you, and the reason why it misses is you get launched as this owlbear slams its full weight into you, and you go flying back, hitting the ground. You are knocked prone. However, you do not take any injuries from that. You are just simply nice. knocked prone. Okay. So it takes your standard action to stand up. Any attacks against you are at advantage while you are knocked prone. But you can still right. throw knives. You can still do whatever you want to in this instant. Also, crawl, right. you crawl at half speed. Uh, let's see. 
I am going to use a dangerous card trick. Okay. And I'm going to aim for this lad right here. In the fear of hitting Paul accidentally. Okay, that's a cone move. Let mm -hmm. me see if I can help you out here. All right. I've never yeah, been good I... with figuring out cones. So that's, I believe, a cone of 15 feet. So with mm -hmm. that, uh, I don't think there's a way to angle this where you don't hit him. All right. Then I'm just going to, while I'm on the ground, do dual wield knife again. Uh, that's in every other turn you just did that. Unless oh. the turn has passed. I yeah, think you just did that, though. I didn't see the EOT. Yeah. Then it's been a I'm... while since you... Have you ever used your powers? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get in a lot of combat. All right. So I'm going to just use a combat knife. Kind of like just shanking it upward. Yeah, go for it. That's the rolls we're talking about, Wild Guard. Hell yeah. I mean, it rolled that one on its parry. Regardless, you take another one out. All right, and this, this is why wildcard is scary. <laughs> one will move up. Attack bring you it on, bird brain. What? Hold on. You just skipped over Paul's turn. Yeah. Oh, You're right. Sorry. Let Paul do his turn, and then I'll do those. Thank you, Dahi. Thank you, Dahi from Beyond the Void. Well, if you could hey, that's not a roll. two. It's not a two, but it's still kind of ugh. Uh, parry, toughness, toughs it out. And then he's going to go up here and attack. All right. Do you want me to just use those rolls? Oh, you can. All right. Uh, I should have used those other rolls. Sorry, ex I'm getting back in the flow of it, trying to get out of my exhaustion All right, man. day early. 17 is what it's going after you because it's another advantage. It jumps on top of you as you kind of like push the other one off. You see this one jump on top of you as Paul desperately tries to grab at its legs to All right. get it off. How many injuries? The pair. Well, you gotta. You didn't parry. Toughness. I oh, parry. Yeah. So it's versus that 17 above. You do not do it. So roll toughness. You take another injury. All right. All right. Deergo again. It's this thing on top of me I'm going to plunge it into where I assume it's heart is. Go for it. You want to do your a AOT? EOT? Never mind. You're uh, right. Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> Wait, you sure you don't want to re-roll that? <laughs> Ooh, that was oh. close on your end. You that plunge another cool. one. Um. <laughs> yeah, with that combat goes to a close as Paul goes over and Mew puts yeah. his hand down to help you back up. Oh, thanks. <laughs> he is bleeding refusely to his, from his side from the one that got him earlier. You all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. Check those rooms. Right. Yeah, it's in. I found her. He steps all right. in. She all right? Oh. Yeah, he eventually steps back out from the room holding her. She looks injured. Not dead, but doesn't look the best. We need to go quickly. I don't know okay. if there's any more around here. Right. Let's go. You see her as you guys quickly move out, clutching one of the mini teddy bears of one pearl. Right. Moves by, he'll kick one of the things and then keep going. That is fair. That you're able to make it to the police car, make your way out. All right. I believe second is Clearwater Hills, right? I can scroll up real quick. Yes. You quickly pull up into Clearwater Clearwater Springs? Hills. 
I forgot the name of the location you guys are on. Clearwater Hills. All right, so we just need to make sure most everyone knows that there is a giant horde of abominations heading this way and they need to get sent out. Easy enough, right? Uh, yeah. Johnny, it's probably better if you stay in the car in case some of them come. Ah, oh, man. I had a pizza deliver out here. Then why don't you have your bike? Ah, oh, shit. He just kind of shakes his head. If you want, I can hit the houses real quick. Hey, I'll run into the office and see if I can't get some sort of broadcast or something. They should have something. Oh, wow, damn, he's fast. He's gone. <laughs> I guess I'll be going to the front office. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Come on in. And you step on into the front desk. You see a kind of an older looking lady is just kind of sitting there. Probably, obviously someone that works here. Can I, oh, you're one of the other, other ones. Do you know they never returned my keys? Oh, did they not? Oh, they must have been in a hurry. Uh, in fact, I'm in a bit of a hurry now myself, but for a different reason. Uh, there's currently a very, very problematic situation occurring around the town. There is a... Uh, what's the best way to describe this? A lot of very hostile creatures and animals are currently closing in on the town. We're trying to gather everyone to the center of town to try and uh, make sure everyone stays safe. Uh, could you help us evacuate everyone from this area if possible? She just kind of rubs the bridge of her nose. Very well, this probably means I'll get off of work for a few days. Oh, trust <laughs> me, up. you'll definitely be off work for a bit after this. There's a phone in the back room. I'll start calling most of the people here. If... Just... I'm just going to tell them it's like a gas leak or something. I doubt they'll believe whatever you're spouting out. Hey, that's probably for the best, honestly. She walks back in here. Alright. We are going to see how well she convinces people. I will also roll for battery. This is basically going to assist battery's roll. Oh, uh, God. Battery, do you have anything in this? Nope. <laughs> battery. Okay, half of oh, that thank is... you, God. That is an 11 with a nat 1 tied to it. Alright, is there anything you want to do why this lady is currently making uh, phone calls, basically? Calling every every trailer that is available to get people moving. Uh, Tahi will effectively go outside and... Uh at least hit up any of the closer ones, but he'll also be, you know, shouting what she was saying effectively, that there is a gas leak, uh, please seek shelter at the police station at the center of town, kind of thing. Alright. Go back here. Alright, Dahi, give me a general deception or persuasion roll at see how well you can do convincing people around here. Okay. I'm very persuasive. So, as it stands currently, some of these places don't have people in them. Not all of the trailers, and it's a pretty fairly large trailer park, so her getting a phone call out in order to get most people, they can. And additionally, not everybody is here so some of the people that she is calling are people that live here that are elsewhere currently kind of trying to loop them back to the area itself 
Additionally to that, as you begin to kind of, you know, go around as battery is hitting door to door as fast as he can, um, you are kind of yelling in the streets, almost going to door to door yourself, just trying to, at least the ones with the parked cars, etc., to get as many people as you can. And the majority of them you do manage to convince to leave. Can't get all of them. Eventually, with you, Johnny, and Battery meeting back up at this specific point itself. As people are getting in their cars and pouring in, I imagine you guys begin to leave as well as doing a full scope of this. Area would be extremely time consuming, and the factor of, you know, um, the more you stay here, less likely, you know, other yeah, areas we get, are. We got the majority, hopefully, the minority after the first wave of creatures does show up, gets it to their head that they need to book it. Yeah. All right. If you want to stay longer, you can to try to get more. It's probably about, I would say, 80 to 90 percent of the people that live in clear waters are currently convinced to leave. If that is That's going to the police station or elsewhere, they are at least leaving this kind of zoned area that is on the outskirts. That's good. So, yeah, no, that's that's good numbers. Uh, no sense trying to get the 10 percent with like a ridiculous amount of time we can hit up other areas much as I hate to leave people behind. We gotta keep moving. All right. That was one of the locations that rolled pretty well on the fact that of uh, things showing up, at least for the first turn. I will probably make a wave for the rest of them at a later point. But right now, you're getting a good majority of this. Yeah, hey, the fact that I got 80 to 90% to, people to, to leave yeah, is astounding. We know how stubborn people can be. Yes. I'm gonna die with my trailer. Screw those owl bears. If they think they can get on my property, they'll have to say hi to Bessie. Right. Frazier, find yourself moving in. Immediately on the way out here, you almost see a few of them moving through the forest, etc. around you, some on the road that you bypassed. Hitting this point in particular is taking the longest time because you are driving from one point of the town to the other. So once you get close to it, you very much begin to hit resistance, but you're able to quickly drive through and get to the gas station itself. This gas station that just kind of remains on this side road outside of the actual highway, one that is very much uh, kind of isolated on its own, not really any other stores or buildings around it. However, when you see it, you see a few immediately. You pull up. You see some of them roaming the area. A few people that lay limp on the ground to self. And then someone... Oh, thank... Thank Christ! He just starts waving from the top of the roof at you. As you pull in. Hey, uh... I think I know that guy. I think he works the off shift of uh, Joe Looney. That's unfortunate. Should probably do something about that. Yeah, I better help him. Right. Alright, everybody, go ahead and roll me initiative. Um... Unfortunately, you will not have access to move Edwin because I need him at his sheet available. As you move into this area, Frazier, you begin to hear flapping almost. As you look over the trees, as something, some creatures begin to move into the area itself. 
almost heading towards this guy. All of the birds are considered in the air currently. So you cannot hit them with your um, your vehicle itself. Oh, I didn't mean to roll that, but yeah, I'll take that 19 for that guy. All three of the griffins begin to move up. This man up top seemed to have a rifle at his hand in his hands, just trying to please, just take out anything that is coming his way. He's gonna fire at one. One of the griffins. Evan's going to hold his turn for you, Frazier. Oh, you're driving a vehicle in this instance. Hey, give me a vehicle check. Vehicle check. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your initiative is actually 18. Because I'm experimenting with mounts thanks to one Rider G. So, here you you're go. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> So you uh, technically go now, so you can move. I'm gonna just hmm. So the vehicle's movement is 25. That is given to you by free. You still get your shift action. You can also give your shift action to make the vehicle move itself as well. So at base, regardless of what you do with your own actions, you can um, use it to move 25 feet around. These are up in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, gonna mark them just that. You said 25? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna move the vehicle in here. You should be able to move everybody besides one Edwin, so, but I will drag him. Uh, I, I can't move the vehicle itself. It's weird. Here you go. Uh, oh, God. can move once more with your shift action or you can use that for other various things you can also basically move shoot and then use your shift action to make the vehicle move again because they're separate actions actually i can you said i can use my shift action to move the vehicle right yes okay i'm gonna do that then Because of my uh, assault unit classification, I can still shoot with my assault rifle. Actually, you don't need that. If you want to move one smart. So basically the way it is, is there's a vehicle oh, right, in action right. that doesn't take anything. Yeah. So you could you could still technically dash with your a main action and still use your assault thing. So you could move t additional 25 feet and then shoot. Just bugging me. As you basically dashed using your main action to move again. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, yeah. Two, three. Okay. Pull around here. And now I'm gonna shoot. I should be close enough. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot at that elbow. Alright, I'm gonna have to. Please do not hurt me, roll 20. Send me back where I belong. I could not open Edwin's suit sheet, so that was really unfortunate. All right, you should be able to move him now, so we don't have this issue anymore. Here we go.
Jeez. What are you shooting at? Uh, I'm shooting at this Albert in here. Okay. All right. You roll down your rando and shoot. All right, this gas station is one story high, so it's most gas stations sit up a little higher than one story typically. Um, you don't see any way for this guy to get down. He kind of looks over at you. They, they knocked over the ladder. I kind of been stuck up here. Eh. Uh, does yeah, it look I... like? Does it look like he'd be able to like drop down onto the truck if I pulled up next to the building? Yeah. Okay. So you have to you have to hold off for one round right. to get up there to where he is. All right. Um, Edwin probably can't do much with the position, so he's going to hold his revolver in case one of those eagles dives bombs at him. All right. Hey, is there any, like, any more inside? Uh, no, no. They're, I think they're all dead. You think? I'm positive. All right, this one hops up here, but it cannot act. This one begins to curve around. Get in front. All right, Amelia. I'm gonna shoot this one. Okay. Okay. Kind of a moving target in the air is generally hard to hit. So as this thing kind of weaves and kind of flying irregularly from the shot from the guy above, it kind of just ducks out of the way as your bullet unfortunately misses. It is the Griffin's go. All right, let me let me double check movement here. I believe they have thirty. So this griffin is going to dive bomb at you, Amelia, as you're in the back and it can reach you. So it almost kind of lands in the cart and digs its claw. And because you are the lowest on the initiative order, it gains plus four to this attack. Okay. That is a 13. It will be parry. Ah, just short. Roll me toughness. That's better. Yeah, it, it lands and tries to dig its front claws into you, and you kind of, like, try to push it off, but it, as it digs in, about to, like, dig into your shoulder, you kind of put the sniper rifle up in time where it, like, catches it before it actually digs into your, your shoulder itself. All right, these other two... This one is going to attempt to attack you, Frazier, through the window. That's no fun. All right. Parry, right? That is, yeah, it, it is a 16 because it is whoever is lower than it in the initiative order, and it rolled very good. Um, it gets mm. that bonus. All right, go toughness. Mm. Okay, that's one injury. This one's going to fly at the man up here. All right. Come on, stranger. Okay. Takes an injury as you, you kind of see him disappear for a moment as this, this, uh, this griffin dive bombs on top of him. You just hear a gunshot from the roof above. All 
All right, Frazier, it's your go. I'm assuming there would have been an opportunity to refill Corey's clips before they left. You are in the arsenal, yeah. so yeah. Just go ahead and assume that you're on max for this, uh, that you refilled them all. Minus the one shot that you made earlier. Right. Uh, I'm gonna do a double shot with the pistol. Okay. I'm going to aim at this griffin that's right next to him, and then the elevator. Go for it. First one's at griffin, second one's at the... Over. Okay. First Dang. one, the Griffin dodges just barely. Yellow bear, however. Yeah, you you immediately just put a bullet straight in the head of this one as it falls limp. However, the Griffin kind of dodges, kind of pushes off the truck and kind of gets up into the air away from the truck itself order to get it out of the range of your pistol that you're trying to shove directly at it. Alright. You still have both your movements if you want to move. Uh, yeah. I will use this opportunity to move the truck up here. Like that. Yeah. Griffin's still in the back of the bed. I forgot to do his, uh, basically what I'm going to do, because I forgot to do Edwin's prep to action. This one will be in the one in the back. See how well that goes, and then he'll just shoot again. Uh, okay. Edwin will... Come on. He's trying to shave you, Amelia. Ah. Um. Nope. He misses both shots. Trying to shoot off out of that tiny window in the back of the truck. All right. Salver will rush up. The last one is going to attack the vehicle itself. Alright. So at this point, now both you have two out of the four of your tires are just completely gone. So with that, Frazier, you're gonna have a minus four to your vehicle checks every mm. time you try to do anything with this car. Alright. So Amelia, you are in close quarter combat, so your range attacks you cannot use versus the the yeah. one that you're in close quarter combat. You can attack others, but it will be at um, it will be at disadvantage. I'm gonna use the stun baton against the one in front of me. Go for it. Dang it! I can't roll. <laughs> Just enough. <laughs> Unfortunately, okay. It's going to try to dig its claws into you again. That is a 17. That's a you, Rachel, so parry and then toughness if you. Uh, is it plus four or plus three? It's plus four. So it's one of, it's one above what you are. You take a wound as it kind of digs its claws into you. Again, it's just unable to get this griffin off of, uh, off of you. All right, griffin up top. I mean, that meant to be Perry. Will he strike back? Yeah. Face fighting roll. That might have been bad. Yep. They're just taking it. Yeah. The man's go. Okay. He 
it's going to run off the roof and try to land on the top section on this backside. He's going to have to make a check for it. He's also going to have to take an attack of opportunity from this griffin. There's a 14. Ah, oh, he, he is so lucky. He lands. You can hear him, like, kind of... Ah! Because you hear... Boom, boom. And then he just kind of rolls and falls next to you, Amelia. All right. I would book it if I was you. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you know, I was going to see if maybe we could get that car on the side, but... I don't think we have the time. Plus, we'd have to move all the stuff in the back of the truck. So, yeah, that you would have to spend time moving the armory into that car. To just take it, the, probably the best bet is to clear out the these four if that is what you want to do. Uh, gonna move and get it away. It might just be best to retire the truck after this. Yeah. Thing. No, don't need me. <laughs> oh, no. Three, uh, that Griffin oh, is still in oh, the back of the truck, so that has to be dealt with. All right. You're basically, are you deciding to use your full action just to floor it out of there? Here? Yeah. All right. We're going to have to situate combat with this. Uh, we have to resolve... The, the griffin itself so we're going to go to Edwin McKinley he is going to try to flash it with the flash on his camera okay uh, nope the griffin is now considered blinded alright Amelia it's your go Try this again. Nope. Okay. It does have a minus four to the blindness. So. Mm, <laughs> I don't stick. think it cares. Yeah, it's going to claw into you. That's a 19. Very much going to parry that. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> ah. Ben's going to try to kick it off. <laughs> now we can just not do anything about this Griffin. Alright. Griffins go again. Nat 1. You can strike it with your stun baton if you want. If you wish. There I we go. I don't like it. Alright. So parry at a minus 4. Okay. Toughness is straight toughness. You finally hit it in its head. It kind of, kind of like tries to pick up flight, and its back legs get hooked on the the trailer, the remains of the truck's uh, the bed itself, and it kind of flips itself. It just scrapes its entire backside on the the road as you guys are driving out, and you just see it tumble. You guys know what you're doing, or? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay. I guess I'll head to Pearl's Path home. And if we have time, maybe it's the elementary school. Okay. Um, you can do that. Probably you do some... have a injured woman in the back of that car. True. I have medical supplies still, though, so maybe Paul can try doing some shit. <laughs> Cause I know my medical expertise is shit. Alright, he he is dumb himbo boy. He has minus two in his intelligence. So What, what about the what about the demon man in the backseat? Uh, how <laughs> how good is he <laughs> with the Not unhandcuff him. I won't Uh I mean if he knew what he was doing I think it might be a good idea, but I'm pretty sure Dahi threatened us both. 
to not unhunt. Yeah. He tried to kill me yeah, earlier. Don't, don't get me, let me anywhere near treatment and stuff, because I have a minus three to that. Okay. I don't know what you're. I'm saying minus... out of character, you fool. Well, I have a minus, uh. No. I have a minus three, too. What do you know? What do you know? Cool. <laughs> We're twinning. Wolf. Yeah. You know, if I get hit in the head, I get stronger. Whoa. Yeah. I'm not uh, even joking. <laughs> he, he, his, his main attack gets bonus per negative he has in his intelligence. So if he ever gets hit in the head real hard and survives it, he gets stronger. It might be safe to say we don't need to worry about the cathedral because one, uh, he just came from there and, and already saw that most people there are dead. Yeah. <laughs> Plus there are already owlbears there. The cathedral so, yeah. I, I'm also including because if you remember, it is a park that it's like in the center of basically. I'm also oh, including no. that area as well. Gotcha. Do you remember the front area was kind of like this park area that lit up the And the NPCs! The NPCs are going to the cathedral now. Procedural, yeah. they go. And we said our group is going to the police station. Is that correct? Yeah, you guys are going there to set up since you got a car that is like seriously effed up. You can always. School isn't in session. There's children at the elementary school. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yell at it if you go there. Hot. It's fine. <laughs> Hey kids, run for your lives! Oh, yeah. by, by the way, uh, at this point, Ace Spades has turned the siren on because this is an emergency. Wee woo! Are you going on per Pearl's path home? Yeah, we're well, going down there and then heading towards the elementary school. So, as you go along, these locations, uh, as you clear them, become points that you can no longer return to. The duration of this campaign. Rip. Okay. So cathedral, police station, graveyard, golden flower bakery. You could also, by the way, because the, you you already know that she knows who who Pizza Man is. Oh yeah, Johnny can deal with that while we're going to the graveyard. Yeah. Okay. We trust Johnny. We trust Johnny. Maybe even Johnny can start leading her down. That'd be a bad idea. Uh... Yeah, I wouldn't want them to be, like, walking by themselves kind of thing. If we went yeah. to Johnny's Pizza, I would have been able to get my motorcycle. We're about to go to Johnny's Pizza. Calm down, Johnny. <laughs> I don't care if everyone dies. My pizza must remain. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't leave hey, that that Tony, that's, that's a radical statement. Dude, the people that you sent to the cathedral is just gonna come back and be like, Dear God, what happened in there? And I'm just gonna casually explain, Oh! A like, gesture to the devil, man. Okay. Well, with that, I will be calling a break here because I need to pee. There's also one thing I need to sh set up. Ah, uh, hey, you make your way down the kind of dark tunnel at this point, considering the sun is hitting the point of well, going over the horizon. The night is upon you at this point. So as the dark, kind of creepy almost tunnel, it's hard to see anything moving within. However, you're able to follow the lights of the freshly lit candles of this graveyard. Francis kind of gets out of the vehicle and just kind of has a gloomy face expression across his face. Is, uh, is what? Uh, I didn't expect to be back here anytime soon. Well, it is a graveyard. You don't exactly visit these for fun or anything. Especially not often. You should probably... I know that Wildcard and Amelia hit this place up earlier. 
ran into some gravekeeper fella. He's probably the only one out here, but it's probably important we get him out. Yeah. Probably check the house first, I guess. How oh, good bed is any? Knocking on the door. There is no response when you knock on the door. Hello? Is there anyone home? There's a terrible creature or a scourge coming this way and you should probably evacuate. Guess they're not in here. Should we check the grounds? Eh, I probably should take a look around. They might be tending the graves still. So as you kind of approach this way, there's candles lit all over. However, you see kind of a circling of lights almost over this way. That's a bit odd. What's over there? He kind of stops in his tracks, making making kind of eyesight on what he sees. Dahi, as you look over there, you see something as well. large man or once was a large man rests with his knees leaning down his body is stiff but you see the gravekeeper lighting candles around and almost weirdly enough making a prayer for him making some sort of gesture for him to rest battery kind of picks up its pace. Hold on, that's that's the big one that went and saved uh, Seymour Potts. It's, Hold on. It's Fergus. I went to school with him. That that actually makes sense. He had that the poster on the wall. The rugby team's mascot was a rhino. I suppose that that tracks. As you approach closer, you can see stuff are almost bruises across his body itself. The way he fell, well, no normal person in some sort of act of combat would be laying on his knees with his hands down to the side with his head lowered down the way it is. You see a clear kind of imprint of where he was hit right across the skull and blood kind of began to leak down his head. It's not of expression that remains on his face like he was angry or anything like that. It's just one of... <sighs> acceptance, almost? This... The Gravekeeper slowly rises up, his pale, almost sickly-looking body. Hmm. I did warn you that your presence had disturbed the spirits, but I didn't expect a new one to appear so soon. I can't imagine you actually could have. Well, okay, maybe there's one person I can think of that did this, but. Yeah, um. I think it was one of your guys's. Charlotte showed some. some images. Yeah, the hammer. I think. It's kind of blurry, whatever he struck him in the head. Ah, that damn fool. You should know better than to do something stupid like this. Such a waste of life. His soul... He does not remain at rest. Well, you can hardly blame him. The promise is left unfulfilled.
Francis kind of slowly approaches. Kind of looks him over. I never got along with him. I honestly think he had a thing for Fee, too. Used to butt heads all the time. I never wished anything like this on him. What better Francis Francis looks back at the gravekeeper and just What do you know what that promise was? Hmm. That is simply not what I see. At least it is impossible for me to see that. However, if you so bear it, you can take the promise and reason why his soul simply won't move on. Take that burden to bear. To allow the spirits to rest here, and you have made them so deeply upset. So what you're saying is we mostly just got to carry his burden with us as we leave, eh? Yes. I think he wishes... Wishes for that. Eh, simple enough. I've got already a few people's burdens with me. An extra one shouldn't count as much more. He kind of looks almost past Francis. Not Francis, but Fergus himself. The gravekeeper almost looks around. You get the feeling that he sees something that you simply cannot. Mm. Before you ask, I can already tell my time here coming to a close so I would ask you to let me remain and do one more sweep of this graveyard well if you've made your peace with it you know, there's no, no sense arguing with you if you've already done that mm. don't let his burden falls short. He is the one spirit that I myself cannot lead. That I cannot let rest. So I guess you must take my burden as well. Hmm. Now, don't be like that. If you can find a way to survive while taking care of this grave, then by all means, do so. After all, if you're not around, who will be taking care of them? He lowers his head. Kind of thinks for a moment. That has always been my... concern. But you see, regardless of what has been brought to my graveyard. I will die regardless. He begins okay. to... Okay. His somber tone begins to almost 
begins to cough a few times. A deep, guttural cough. Uh oh. And he looks at the palm of his hands, almost stained with the color of red. So he just takes off his gloves and folds them up and puts them into one of his pockets. Francis kind of looks at you, kind of takes a look at Fergus once more. I think we should head out by... Hey, no sense spending more time here than necessary. Rest well, Fergus. Didn't know you too much, but at the very least, we'll make sure your mom gets out of this perfectly fine and everyone else that we can. Francis kind of like solemnly kind of makes a slight pat on the gravekeeper's back as he proceeds to walk forward. He continues to, uh, to light candles and as you make your way out of the graveyard itself, you hear the slow draw, the slow dragging of his shovel scraping against the ground itself. For this gravekeeper will make his last trip through his graveyard. Hoping that all the spirits will weigh to be laid rest as they will no longer have a keeper. And then with that, we'll move on to the next group. Dahi, you do not know what the burden that you have chosen to bear is. However, if you would, and your advantage is, write a lion's passion down in your sheet. I will not tell you what the effects are, but if they trigger, I will let you know at that point itself. And we'll also write that down for battery because he has taken the burden to bear as well. Your car begins to slowly come to a stop. Yeah, that can't be good. Pop the hood. You can see what I can do. I popped it. So you kind of reach underneath to pull the pull the lever to pop the hood itself. Amelia, please make me a perception check. Amelia, in this action, in this moment, you have a single action that you can do. As you see a van going full speed directly at the truck that you're in. Is it coming from like tail end? There it is. As it looks right now, it is going full speed, planning to slam directly into the truck itself. You're currently situated in the back. There is... Yes. You, you basically have one action to respond to self uh, in this event. So that is what your perception check did. The other two are too busy kind of working on the truck to notice it until it is too late. Can I shoot out its front right tire? Yeah, go for it. Give me a sniper. Rifle check. What a clutch roll. Okay. There's my rolls. Okay. 
you hit the kind of right tire and it begins to kind of spin out of control. It is still going to hit this truck, but you have slowed it down enough to basically make what is was what was going to happen far less severe. Okay. Everyone in the vehicle needs to make toughness checks immediately. And I'll go ahead and roll for the other two as this vehicle comes head first at you. All right. The van slams into the truck. This point, denting the entire side ahead. Amelia, you're flung this way. You take three injuries. So it's from the fact that you were in the back and just the pure impact of this wreck. Hit, you hit the ground and roll. Uh, Frazier, you take two. As the truck moves, as you're kind of getting out of it, and it just kind of slams you, kind of pinning you almost into the side of this building. All right. Here's where it really matters. I'm starting to think Edwin's sheet is just actually broken. Okay. I got it open. Okay. Takes four as well. So, the impact of this situation sends Edwin flying. He kind of hits his head against this pole and he is knocked unconscious. Let me roll for him. All right. Okay. He's still alive. Now it's not only for the man that you saved. Oh. He gets flung out. This man, unfortunately, with the injuries that he has sustained, is dead. Okay. Hold up. Yes? A rear bullseye, I can trigger it for an ally. Does that count for him? He is considered an ally. If you activate that, he will do one above dying, so he will survive. He'll be knocked Let's unconscious for this. Cool. Are you using the base use or your luck point use? The luck point. Okay. I don't know if you have egg, egg, or add access to that. I think I gave it to you so you could adjust that on your own. Let me know if you don't. I don't think I can, but I mean, I only have one, so I'll just keep it in mind if you want me to. Uh, consistently the same. There you go, you have add access now to be able to freely change that. Okay. Now add yourself to the turn order. I'm gonna make three toughness rolls for the people that were in the vehicle itself. Son of a biscuit. Really? Again? Four? Okay. Frazier, need that roll. That's so I'm aware of the current situation. Frazier, how many injuries are you at? Seven. Cool. Uh, Amelia, how many injuries are you at? Four. All right. 
Uh, can I just put Corey here so he's actually in a grid? Yes. Alright. Good old Seymour kind of climbs out of, like, slowly opens the side door and kind of stumbles out. Kind of spits to the side of the grounds, is injured from the, the wreck itself. He looks up to you. Alright. Plan. You're one of the ones to kill. Okay. Go. Go. He sprints up and says, he's going to attempt to stab you. Ugh. All right, you tough it out as you're able to push his blade to the side and your kind of foggy mind as you're trying to recover from both the wreck and defend yourself. You're able to push it just enough to the side of where it kind of cuts into your basic kind of counterforce protection rather than cutting into your flesh itself. All right, your go, Fraser. Uh. All right. I... Before we continue, I forgot about this. This is something new. Um, the three of them are considered as a boss, meaning they have a boss trait. Um, the boss trait is ruthless. If you go down, they will attempt to kill you. Just to have that. <laughs> out there, they will attempt to kill you if you go down. Oh, how fun. Other than that, they do not have any other boss traits to them. That is simply uh, what they are. Um, they, each of them have their own injury pulls and all of that, etc. I guess right. I have to go with combat knife. Shotguns can use in close core combat. You got one of those, right? Yeah, yeah. Corey's gonna shotgun him then. Okay. He sees you pull up his shotgun and he just kind of sidesteps with the <laughs> sidesteps behind the side of the building in order to get out of the way of your shotgun shot. You still got your shift action. Uh, am I still considered in... Uh... No, I, I would say the, this wall kind of protects you from close quarter combat if you want to, like, uh... move away. You're not going to get attack of opportunity. Bosses don't trigger those, remember? Yeah, right, right. Um... Could I move through here? Or is that, like, too yeah. tight? Okay. Corey's gonna back up a bit. Okay. She will stumble out of the backside, kind of bloodied and bruised by the impact itself. And unfortunately, We'll take her shotgun out and shoot the guy on the ground. That is her action. Edwin is dead. All right. Any, any, unfortunately for her, well, it's very poorly. So she will stumble out and kind of fall to her knees, just coughing. That is her action. Amelia, here go. Can I see her from, like, where I'm at? So, you can. Like, if you're going to make a shot at her, she's going to have full cover, so you're going to have a minus four. Because you're shooting through, like, windows, basically. Unless you, like, volley shot, I would say, is the only other thing with the bow. I got to remember what volley does. Can you say I think you you might not be in the range for volley. No. 
Volley is like the long range archer thing. It just has a less bonus to it, but you, you're not in range unless you move backwards. You could just make a shot at minus four if you want to do that. Sure, we'll do that. Okay. There's a 16. Bells. That's all four runes to her. Yeah, you kind of hit her in the shoulder, and just by the pure impact, she hits the ground and rolls. She slowly gets up. She is not looking good from the wreck in that shot alone. All right. See Marble look. Shit! Ah. Okay. Ah. Gotta breathe. All right. Um. Okay. He actually. Yeah. Let me make a check for him because he's gonna go over the truck. See that you have a shotgun. So he scrambles over the truck and jumps down this way. And he's gonna run towards you, Amelia, with his knife out, try to cut into you. That's only a 12. That's a parry, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. You're able to put up your uh, sniper rifle again to kind of like push him back before he's able to get close enough to uh, hit you. Frazier, it's your go. Um, I'm gonna pop Crucial Moment to give Amelia a free shift action. And that is not trigger attacks of opportunity, right? Nope. I mean, not that okay. they would have any anyways, but... That is true. Just so she has her turn and doesn't have to. Back. Okay. You can wait to trigger that on her turn if you want to. Yeah, yeah. So, so just remember, Amelia, on your next turn, you basically have a... You can either take it now, which you, you could move for a free shift action because he activated it now. So you can... You basically have an entire shift action to move wherever you want to. And it cancels, like, attacks of opportunity, anything like that. So go ahead and move yourself where... Probably a better spot than him right on top of you is. You there, Rachel? Yeah, I'm here. I was looking at something. Okay. So yeah, he activated his memory to allow you to move. Uh, we'll move back here. Okay. All right, Frazier, you still got the rest of your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to shoot at Seymour with my sword. Okay. Damn. You still do one to him, but he he's able to tough it out. I did not mean to move that. Okay. Pam, let's go. She will go over here, and you see her lean down and just smack Annie. Get it together. You know what we have to do. You want everything to remain the same, don't you? And she proceeds to double move this way. Annie, ooh, tears streaming down her face, slowly gets up. See a pistol in her hand. She's going to make a shot towards you, Fraser. Her hand shaking. That disadvantage. That's at seven. You move out of the way. Oh, more or less, she misses. Her hand's shaking. It's kind of hard for her to aim. All right, Amelia. We're going to shoot with the bow this time. Okay. Whoop. 
never gonna hit high with that thing, am I? It's very depressing. It <laughs> is. Have, you have such a high bonus with it. Is it at a uh, Pamela? Yes. Okay. You unfortunately miss. Seymour kind of looks between both of you, not sure what to do, and then Pamela immediately is just, get the girl. I'll handle him. Kind of raising her shotgun that she has on her side, so he'll sprint after you, Amelia. Try to stab into uh, you again. That's an eight. Actually, no, I'm not going to pop that. Uh, do you have anything to stop that? I, I was going to do something, but it was an eight, so I just chose not to. Okay. Amelia is able to protect herself. Frazier, it's your go. Uh, Frazier will move up to right here, and I'm gonna shoot twice with the pistol, one at Seymour and one at Pam. You cannot move and do that. Oh, uh, right. Wait. Oh, right. I have to use my full. I think I can still do it here. Yeah. I think you can because you took that stupid... You took PowerPoint bonus on your pistol range. <laughs> it's yep. coming into play! <laughs> it is coming into play. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna do that then. The one shot at both. First, First one, one at Pamela, Pamela, second one, second one. Okay. Pamela dodge. With that, you hit Pamela. You hit her directly in the chest. Her raising moments before she's about to shotgun you, you hit her in the chest and she falls back, kind of slams against the side of this light post and goes limp all right second one at uh nope nope you shoot seymour in the side as he's currently trying to stab amelia so it's kind of setting him off because it kind of stumbles back from the attack itself Annie looks at, well, the body of her mother and just kind of drops the gun and takes a few steps back. Amelia. Okay. Um, we can hit diagonally, I'm assuming. Yes, ma'am. We'll do stun baton. He kind of like sidesteps as you swing at him. Ah. He looks around quickly for his surroundings. Shit. Shit. Oh. I'll kill you. He runs forward. Amelia, you can make a stun baton. Attack of opportunity against him. Straight to his toughness. All right. He runs forward, and as he runs, you desperately seeing that Fraser kind of tanked into this corner, looking not so great at all. You just reach out and just hit him in the head, and he falls, and just the impact of the ground alone. The injuries he sustained before. He shatters before falling forward. All right, Fraser. Uh, uh Corey's gonna walk up to her. Oh, wait, he only has four minutes. Uh, with his pistol just aimed at her. He's like, I'm officially pissed off. Tell me right now before I shoot you. If you want to live. He kind of shaking is unable to really even even get a word out in this moment. Just roll me an intimidation check.
That's with a plus two, so 21. Okay. Throw in siphons of that. Nope. She simply falls to her knees. I didn't want any of this to happen. Just staring at the ground in front of her. Almost unresponsive. Combat's officially over. You can move freely. Actually, I should probably go check with the guy that fell out of the truck. He seems pretty beat up, but as long as you treat him in the next couple hours, he should be fine. He just seems more unconscious. Main priority is probably getting him to the police station rather than that. You kind of look over to both the vehicles and... They're going nowhere at this point. At this point, you must... You must likely have to make your way on foot. Frazier, what are you doing as this... This girl is with her knees down on the ground, just looking at the, her hands, unresponsive. There are lives at stake, and I just watched a civilian die right in front of my eyes. I could give two shits about what you want and don't want. I'm leaving. If you want to go to the police station, you can sit in a cell. It's up to you. Actually, I'll probably help her with the unconscious person. She does not move. She just remains there. Kind of... Subtle cry. Are you both leaving? Yeah, Corey's leaving. I'm gonna talk to her real quick. Are you coming along? There's some creatures running around. You need to get to safety. There's nothing. She seems almost re unresponsive, kind of final statements or babbling. Okay, let's try this. She's just gonna grab her by the arm and pull her up and just try and pull her along. <laughs> she doesn't fight back or anything. She does indeed follow, as long as you're leading her. All right, we'll work with this for now. All right. Both of you make me some athletics checks and see how far or how fast you get to the police station itself. Oh, no. You can also use acrobatics. That's better. Okay. All right. Um, let me. Okay. Fate is in your favor. These fate rolls are typically rolled really low that time. So you'll still be able to arrive there in the short amount of time between now and there. I'm not ca costing another time slot as you arrive to the police station. It is still within the same kind of hour. Yep, I guess the turret's being left. <laughs> it probably got destroyed in that accident anyway. <laughs> oh. All that work to get it back. I know, right? <laughs> that's tragedy. That's perfect. I cannot wait to tell Zach that later. <laughs> 
you want to kill Ryan? Fine, your turret got totaled in a car wreck. Yeah, frick you, nerd. <laughs> Rest in peace, Seymour Butts. He was a treasure. No, he wasn't. What am I talking about? No, he, was he tried asshole. to stab me. I mean, he did technically stab uh, our wonderful captain that long, long time ago. Yeah. Ah, the memories. He's just a funny character to me. Because yeah. of his name. Well, yeah, he, like the joke, is dead now. <laughs> Rest in peace. See more butts. As you both kind of arrive, you see one one of the mechs kind of holding its gun out. Or kind of it holstered on its side, but it is just kind of rotating, scanning, as you see another one that's been teared apart. Meaning, most likely, they have been here already. We better get inside and check the situation. Yeah, let's go. You're right. That is not what I want. I don't know why these are at the top of my playlist. Yeah, we'll keep this one. So you move up. This mech does not seem to respond, really. It just keeps its gun at the side. Almost like it's waiting. Go in. All right. Let me quickly. Yeah. As you step in, a gunshot goes out and just kind of flies and hits the wall next to you. As you look to see. One of the police officers from before, you briefly talk to him as you went to the armory. He's holding his gun up. He sees you enter in. Shit! These mechs just kind of remain idle. Their guns on their sides. <sighs> Figured everyone else was dead. Nope. He, he, like, walks over. You're looking worse for there. Here. Kind of, he comes and goes this way. You can lay him down in one of the beds in the cells. Uh, all right. Do you wish to put her in the other one for now? Yeah, put her in the other one. You look like shit. Hold on, I think there's some medical supplies back in the armory. Uh, that'd be nice right now. Quickly runs around. A few seconds later, he comes back. Holding kind of a... A med box, something they ripped off the wall real quick. Here, sit down. All right, let me see. It says he has base, so that would be, yeah. All right, heal four up. That's nice right now. Ma'am, you hurt too. Get over here. Okay. Any additional hands are well needed. 
We have three other groups of people out there trying to round up civilians to come here. All right. A few have already arrived. Uh, there's one or two back in the armory. But, um, they're no help at defending these things. They've already taken out most of the mechs. We'll do what we can. The woman from, well, Clearwater Hills is kind of step out. Uh, it does look like I am going to be off of work. Probably indefinitely. Oh, you found more. Oh, it's you. Yeah. You I'm still have my keys. You're worried about your keys right now? It's something I've been fixating on to keep my brain from... Well, she looks over at these creatures. <sighs> Alright. Clearly as it stands. With this hour, etc. The next hour, if you guys chose choose to do so you can proceed to set up the police station as the stronghold. Meaning, any of the people that do show up from Clearwater Springs and the other people, if he wakes up, etc., you can equip them with the little armory that this police station have to basically, if you guys choose so, have civilians help defend the location. If you wanted to just be yourselves and this last remaining police officer, that is something else you can do as well. But, as it stands right now, the only protection that is sort of really set up is, frankly, the mechs that he put outside. Well, the one mech that he put outside. As it stands right now, the fire... There's three remaining out of the... Or... Three remaining out of the six mechs. If you would like to rest on that thought, you can. If you guys want to go back out or if you want to remain here. Both of you are looking pretty injured at this point in time. Or, well... A little better now, but... Uh... I would at least like to spend this hour, like, setting it up and... I mean, well, civilians... Well, the and everything, it would be the next hour that would... Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Plus, Eight we don't hour. have a vehicle to go anywhere in anyway. Yeah. I will, there's probably an additional police vehicle or something like that That's that you true. can steal. Yeah. I don't have a map for, like, the garage, um, but, You could yeah. go back and get the turret. No. It's lost to time now. What turret? What are you talking about? <laughs> we had a turret? Maybe wherever he's off roaming around, he'll find the truck and find his turret. Amelia, do you want to do something here? Or do you want to wait to do that a little bit? Here in a little bit? Uh, well, she seems a little shell-shocked, so I don't think she'll answer any questions right now anyway. Okay. She kind of sits on the on the bed and just kind of, like, looks at her hands. Hands just kind of covered or stained red with her own blood. Yeah, let her process some things real quick. With that, we'll go back to the map. Alright. It's time for Pearl's Path Home. Yo. Me and the, my boy Paul were just heading down the path. Let me see if this is something that I have archived or not. Okay. Rest in peace, Reddy. <laughs> you, you will not be appearing in the main series now. <laughs> Stuff happens, man. Stuff happens. If I had a ruthless woman, she will shoot <laughs> anything that's in front of her, man. I'm just I'm dreading for his roles. I'm just dreading explaining this to Charlotte. 
mean? What's more to, there to explain? The butts showed up. I mean, hell. She already had two other friends already dead at this point. <laughs> if you think about it. All she has left is Spit and Joe Looney. Yeah. Alright. Club card. You pull into the alleyway. Immediately as you start making your way down this alleyway, checking the streets as you go along, you see two bodies right next to you. Already been attacked. Less brutally torn apart and more just killed and then the creatures moved on. It's a different pattern than what you knew before with, well, j the death of Janice Keeper. Because right now you don't necessarily see anything moving per se within this alleyway itself. However, as you slowly move your way through. Hey, stop! No, stop the car. Someone kind of poking their head over the fence. Oh, thank God. You all right, man? Yeah. Uh, kind of hit a, hopped over the fence. They, they continued down the alleyway. You know of any other survivors? No. I mean, I had, I had two girls with me. They kind of got split up. Hmm. All right. Hop in, and we'll head down to look for them. Kind of like pushes his way through this hole here and just. Oh, shit. No. <sighs> okay. Paul kind of steps out of the vehicle. Come on, man. This kind of slowly leads him. He's trying to process the fact that both his friends are laying dead in the streets. He's just like, I know it's rough, but um, we, we got to get a move on or yeah. we'll be back. He's just kind of fall silent, just nods his head. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't happen to know any medical expertise, would you? All right, I will roll for fate for you. Above an 18, he will have medical expertise. That's in that one. <laughs> this man has minus three intelligence. All right. It was worth an ask, you know. <laughs> what what no, about man, you, uh... man? Still... <laughs> still the... Uh, I, don't, I still don't think that's a good idea. Not me either. All right. I just don't know what to do with him, you know? We're gonna put him in the jail cell, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, you did say you were gonna use your med kit on uh, Jennifer Warren, right? Or do you want to wait? I want to wait a bit. Okay. <laughs> to hopefully find someone <laughs> that can do it better. Your best bet might just to be go back to the police precinct at this point. All right. Um, and I will. Need to just make sure I get this prep so I know where this is. Okay. So is that the only survivor on our way down? Yes. All right. As you check the streets, you either see people that may or may not be, you know, already taken or etc. You run into them three, um, unless you want to get out and like hit every house, but that's that's gonna take a lot of time to do. You kind of well, just hit the paths in the alleyways. I. Do I want the siren on? Because I could draw in the bullets. No, I don't want the siren on. Because you could you could Bad technically idea. have the siren on, which will draw it in. And if you keep it on all the way back to where you're going, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah. You could have it on, and there is speakers that you could just basically be like, go to the police precinct as you hit those alleyways. I, might just, I might just do that instead oh, that's of the siren because siren. at least with that it's brief yeah and the bear owls will most likely not understand english we must go to the pre-stink 
Onward, my fellow brother. underestimate our power. <laughs> we are but one singular hive mind with many voices. Does anyone else want pizza? I want pizza. And Let's who go to wants the pizzeria. Pizza? <laughs> Let us go to Jonathan's pizzeria. God, if we get to Johnny's and it's like a hive of the assholes there, that's gonna be like Johnny will be so sad. Not to my pizzeria. <laughs> no. So you pull up quickly to the outside of the Golden Flower Bakery. At this point, I think Dahi's driving. I don't know if you're on the right side. My brain has lost <laughs> the ability to keep track of that at this point. Probably, but Johnny's getting back in. He probably has the best vehicle score. Okay. As you walk out, you see two people. Johnny has... has her shoulder over his. There's some faint color of blood, and she seems to be not fully there. Oh, thank God! There's one of those bastards in there, and I kicked it, and it stopped moving. We Holy need to go. Shit, I think I think there's more in there. Oh well, good job, Johnny. Let's let's get her in the car. Or you drive. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He like hands her off to her, and she's like kind of not fully there, kind of hazy from the blood loss. Oh, it's it's you. Okay. Oh yes, hello there. Things are getting a wee bit weird here. Let's let's uh let's take a nice little drive now, why don't we? Okay. Okay. You kind of lead and lead her into the car and get in and you guys kind of lure out moments before kind of behind you you see some of the, the owl bears that were in there just kind of heading out of the building itself. Oh my god, you can't believe the roles that that man just made. Anywho, some points. Did we just miss Johnny being like an absolute badass? Yeah, it says off screen Johnny says went in there and he has no weapons on him, but barehanded takes down several of the elements <laughs> in there, gets her out, and then you guys pull up in the moment of when that happens. Because off screen, he has this badass heroic moment, and <laughs> no one will ever know. Uh, and the woman will forget. All right. This no is one also will ever out. believe them. I'm gonna call one more break because I need to pee again, <laughs> All right. and then we'll um, we'll finish up everything. We have one more or two scenes outside this kind of save the civilians. And then we'll um, we'll finish up. So that we're going to go to Johnny's Pizza. Kind of pull up on the outside, and Johnny begins to get out, and Francis just like stops him. No, you need to you need to stay here. If any of those um. Any of those bastards come, just get her out of here, okay? Nahi, you don't have to come in if you don't want to. No, no, I'm coming with you. Besides, better if at least two of us stick together this way, that these two will be able to get away, and ah, I have confidence in running, kind of. Not as fast as you, of course. Yeah, my mind's only temporary. He holds his hand out. Give me your keys. But, no, you can't. I... <laughs> His face begins to get angry. Give me your damn keys. Fine, fine. He reaches in his pocket, almost tumbling out and lands in front. He reaches down and grabs it. He's very protective of it, but I, I can run away. Take his bike if you need to. He hands you the keys. I gotcha. Don't worry. I'll take care of it very well. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get any pizzas delivered at all. And that would be a tragedy. <sighs> Thank you, kind sir. It's my stallion. Don't let it go. I'll treat it with care.
Sometimes I worry about him. Well, he did just fight some of those beards barehanded, so he might be fine. I mean, I'm not... He's always had, like, this act of survival, so I'm not really concerned about him getting out. I'm just... I don't know. There's moments of where he gets serious and talks like a normal person sometimes. I think oh, it's you're also an act. Mentally for him. Gotcha. Also, he reaches forward, the door's unlocked. That. Oh, that, I'm yeah, also that, concerned. That that's a good point. He he immediately puts up his finger as you hear movement on the inside. Alright. And he's going to go in. Hey, Dai, give me a stealth check. Ah, shit. This battery got you covered. Battery does indeed get you co got you covered. Good, thank goodness for that. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot with your restatting that we did, you kind of dumped it a little bit. A little bit. As of right now, you are unseen. As you enter this back door and immediately see one scrounging around in the kitchen, you can hear further noises in the actual pizzeria itself. And he just kind of ushers you this way, and you, you kind of trip, almost like stumbling, about to just clang all your weapons, etc., across the ground, and he just quickly grabs you, and like you appear over here after like a second of the time. Now he just kind of nods appreciatively and keeps on moving. That you proceed to move into the basement itself. He goes over and actually <laughs> just opens the door and walks in okay seems to be clear down here for, for right now hey where's the stuff it's in here shoved in one of the drawers before Frazier tried to um, punch me in the face yeah our captain's uh he's a mate hey, what's the word you want to put Confrontational. He kind of reaches forward into. Just kind of starts digging in the desk for a moment. Takes it out and holds it up. A single blue vial. It almost glows. Kind of gl glimmering in his eyes. He stares at it for a few seconds. Just slowly holds it in his hand, clenching it in his palm and. All right. Oh yeah. If you if you want to take those, I don't I don't think he'll even notice that they're gone. Yoink. That's you know that's not the um strangest hobby I've ever seen. What can I say? I'm a fan of cards. He kind of takes a moment, just kind of like looks over here in the pile of empty bags. I'm gonna miss this place. Oh well. No time to be sentimental. Hey, time to move, time to move. Uh oh. Hopefully we can get out of one of the cars in too much of a rush. So you proceed to make your way upstairs. We're going to go back outside for a moment. Back outside, well, I mean, nuke both of you guys in the corner, but. Back outside, 
Johnny sits on impatiently. At this point, Bethany McKinley has kind of dozed off in and out of consciousness from the blood loss itself. He doesn't look the best, but he's just kind of, every now and then looks back and just kind of like pushes her up. Come on, come on, don't fall asleep on me. That's apparently really bad to fall asleep when you're bleeding like you are. Uh, he looks out of his rear view mirror and he sees something move. Oh, uh, kind of sticks his head, climbing out of the window. That can't be good. And he hears it, the flapping of many wings. He looks around to begin to pour into the area itself, one much larger than the rest. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Just gotta, I was told to leave if anything came. It flies forward. He looks in his river mirror as it dive bombs in front uh, towards the vehicle itself. It goes shit and just floors it down as it misses. And your ride away has left you. Back to the inside. You guys. With your collected gear, enter in. All right, you making for the door? That's the plan. Okay, give me another stealth check. Oh, wow. That's not good for him. They roll this at him. <laughs> don't need advantage on that one. As you kind of slowly sneak up, you accidentally take a step on this this kind of uh, pizza stick. <laughs> um, and it just kind of rocks against the ground and you just hear the various cries in the building. All right. Initially not turn order for this, as this one will move here. That is its turn as it runs around the corner with its claws ready. You can hear more begin to rush in from down below. All right, battery. This very much has higher initiative than you, so. Yeah, I would imagine he's faster than me. Oh, let me put him at that. I'm gonna pop that. Ability plus three. Okay. Immediately in an instant, you just kind of kind of feel the pickup of speed, just the air that he creates as he just stabs directly into the head of this thing and pulls his hand back quickly as it falls dead. <sighs> Hurry out. Aye, that's our cue to leave. I don't think you're going to be able to start up that bike as fast as these things are going to move. He kind of quickly takes a step this forward. Me back at the, pol the police station. Gotcha. Don't keep getting yourself killed here, though. No, I have, I have other where I have elsewhere to be. As you can see, the I... kind of sparks pull around him as the lights begin to flicker within the room. Hey, give him hell! I'll see you at the police station. All right. Okay, die. You rush out. I'm imagining what you're going to be taking is his bike itself. Yep, that's the plan. Okay. So, with that being the case, because of Battery's current dilemma that he finds himself in, put the token layer.
as you get on and pull the bike out of the uh, corner, the birds begin to follow you. You find yourself being chased. By several of these creatures. Oh, Alright, give me initiative roll. You can either choose to roll your base initiative or roll a vehicle check. I don't know which one's better for you. Vehicle, technically. Ah, that was still awful. Okay. No, I have to. Yeah. I can enter a manual manually. You technically be up here in the center of the map, and they've just moved in. So. All right, Dahi, here go. Oh, we are far in it. Okay. Basically, this is somewhat of a chase sequence. You're basically are moving, but you're also trying to slow them down as you go. If you reach the end of the map, that doesn't necessarily mean that you escape in this instant. Ah, it is more just the case of just trying to slow them down and also at the end, seeing if you're able to escape via taking them all out or what you end up rolling. You have 25 movement of your vehicle that you can use to reposition yourself or get further away from them so they can't jump on you while you're driving. Okay, so he's going to shoot first then, and then 25 away. Okay. Probably at uh, this one. Go for it. Bang, bang. You probably did that. Yeah, you, your revolver lets out an echo as you hit this e this griffin and it's just perfect shot it's gone hits the ground and left behind and that's yeah. 25 volt. right here we go again another shot on this one Ah, bloody hell. Yeah, and I don't think there's any sort of re-roll of anyone else's memory. I believe they have to be in sight for that. Yep, so, and I do not have the luck points to mess with that, so it's just an oops, and then I'll just... Both of these begin to dive bomb at you, trying to dig their claws into you the best they can. Those have a plus four on it, 17 and 13. 13 first. Yep. Harry. Okay. You can strike back as it kind of picks back up in the air if you want. And then the other one hits me, so let me roll that first. Yeah, roll toughness. Okay, wow. You take one. Thanks. Luckily, they're minions, so you're not going to take, like, big chunks, but it does do, do one uh, to you. Uh, let's see. You yeah, strike back on the other one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, parry. Yep, you hit that one enough where it hits the ground and be is left behind. Oh, that was the one with the turn order, but, you know, it's fine. Yeah, we, we know where they were. Okay. Since the other one's still next to him, he's going to swing the baton back around and see if he can't clock the other one. Go for it. Ah, beautiful. Uh, give me one second. Who needs luck points when you have natural luck? Uh, most of them. Yeah, the other one hits the ground and is left behind. And as you think it is clear, you see something much larger picking up speed. It's a much larger griffin 
one almost doubling the size of the two, the three that you just took down, is quickly making its way towards you. All right, pulls that at advantage. It's a 21. Okay, so it's gonna go first. Alright, it is going to use one of its power. If someone does not have something that is considered an ally within 15 feet, this power goes at advantage. Didn't even need it. That is a 23 at you. Is that a parry? Yes, sir. Well. I can't force it to reroll that 20, and I don't have the ones necessary to cancel out its crit. That's even worse. Hold on. Uh, before that, go ahead and give me a 1d4. Actually, 2d4, because we have not been keeping up with that. You rolled a 1d4 no. before you went to the graveyard and stuff like that. So you should be higher than you are. So do 2d4, see what you get. Three. Okay. You can keep that re-roll, you can take that point back and do something else with it if you have another action that you want to. Nah, there's nothing. Well, let me see. If I keep that re-roll, and use two more points to flip it, it would uh, not be enough, so no, I have to just take that. Okay, give me a toughness. Ow. Okay, that takes three with the crit. Okay. All right, die. Oh, let's see. I'm going to activate. Let's see. A collector of cards to change the confusion effect on 52 pickup. Oh shit! That's right. You got the last. Hold on. Also that. Yes. Okay. Firstly, the the final thing that you get here, and because somehow, well, a you get you get the buzzed, which causes the sickness status effect, which lowers fortitude. But secondly, because you get got them all, and I I'm not going to spend the time rearranging this just to save time. But to let you know what that uh, effect does is allows you to replace that effect with two of the effects on your cards itself. Once per session, you can change the confusion effect to two rather than replacing one. So you get to pick two different card sets that you flick at him. Oh, okay. So it's going to be Cards Against Humanity and Werewolves. Okay. You also got Buzzed, which causes sickness, yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll that at, at this creature. Okay. It's will check, Jeez, right? 18. Yep. You flipping I'm it? I used two luck points to flip that, yeah. Okay. So it is taking both the uh, enraged and cards against humanity. Yep, which cards against humanity means it literally skips its next turn. Yep, and it's also enraged, so. Uh, I will put this for enraged. Skips his next turn. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Since I had it skip its turn and it can't do any fancy abilities now, would it be possible to outrun this thing to the police station? Uh, if you want to floor it, I will allow you to attempt to do that because it is enraged and you had it under the rut. Uh, because you basically could have double move more or less as it could not do its action so that yeah. gives you enough kind of gap to i would say you're allowed it to so give me a vehicle check i'd probably say give me give me one or two of those give me one <laughs> give one and we'll see what happens okay and then let me let's say it's that wow wow 
Oh, no, I, I, I did not roll that correctly. There we go. Still well, Jesus. Yeah, with basically the confusion of you spraying the cards in its face and the reflection of what light there is off of them just kind of blinds it for a moment as it slows down, giving you enough of a breathing room to get to the police station with only one injury remaining. Yep, I was at eight injuries. That was Oh, lovely. God. That was close. Okay. It means everyone reconvenes at the police station itself. Well. So. So, wild card. You make it into the police station with the injured ones. Well, the unconscious. I mean, I guess he's technically injured itself. But your group proceeds in as you kind of hear Frazier talking to the police officer to kind of try to circumvent some sort of plan. Hey, guys. I got a prisoner. <laughs> hey, you got any, uh, anything? Med supplies? I, I mean, I still got my med kit. He pulls it out. I just was waiting for a better opportunity. Plus, I'm not very good at that kind of thing. Fraser, as he walks around the corner, you see an unconscious... The woman you talked to the first time you arrived here, unconscious in Paul's hands. She does not look great. we have any more medical supplies? Uh, uh, yeah, I got some. I mean, we don't really have a lot in the ar armory itself, so. I have one more use on this, I think, and get out of it. But after that, we're going to be out. Besides whatever your friend there has. He will put his med pack in front of Frazier. Are you just leaving this guy at the door? I can't, I can't move him. No, I know, but uh, I was moving him. I was in the process of moving, and you're like, I'm going to hand them things when you're carrying a full-grown man. <laughs> yeah. We okay. probably should move uh, her out of that one. We don't. I don't think she needs to be in the same cell with that guy. You could move this guy, and let me roll for him because he was unconscious. Let's see if he got, no, he is still, he's still out. You can move this injured guy elsewhere. I would say it's probably the better. Yeah, we can move him into the armory, I guess. Okay. You call, you, you yell out for a few people and they go and they move him. Move him into the armory itself. Alright, then we'll move Demon Man into the cell. Good old. Little guiles. There we are. Sell, sweet sell. Okay. Do you want the police officer to you the last of your med supplies to uh on Jennifer Warren? You all have your individual med packs, which aren't like anything super severe. Um, it's just for, like, patching yourself up in the, the field and probably something you should use before heading into the factory, to be honest. Yeah, we can use the last of the medical supplies on her. Okay. Uh, I will not have to roll for that because of what she has. She is unconscious, but currently her life is not under any sort of distress with what it, what their injuries are currently. Hey, wait. Where's that guy with the neat-looking gun? The butt's got him. No. <laughs> I've got this. Well, shoot. <laughs> so, uh, 
what you need me to do, boss. Uh, if we can get all the civilians set up and able to handle themselves, and we might be able to leave here soon. I hope you don't want me to teach them how to shoot, because that will not go well. As you hear the door open up and a... Oh, hey, it's Spit. He just, like, looks at you. Dead eyes. Just stares at Hi. you for a moment. Hey, uh... Charlotte's on her way. We kind of ran out of room in our car, so... We have some more people. We went in through the garage. She's, right. uh... On foot currently, so... Is there a place I can, like, sit down? I think so. Yeah, go back into the armory. Okay. Sup. 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 <laughs> Andrew's armory itself. How many people did you get? He looks towards Spit. You'll I'm spit sorry. exactly six times. <laughs> How can you do that? <laughs> he just looks at you. Really impressive. And then he spits <laughs> once more. Uh, uh, <laughs> sir, <laughs> can't speak, remember? Yeah, I know. This is just... Very entertaining. Well, that's kind of rude. Um. <laughs> I kind of want to see if Wildcard can get, uh, what's her name? Uh, Annie? Yeah, see if you can get Annie to talk, because she's just kind of clammed up and Wildcard's good at, you know, talking. Talking. <laughs> for once, his gift might be used for good. So, like, you just, you just want me to talk to him? Or, like, is, is that the plan, or...? Guys, are they ever gonna believe it? The door kicks open, kind of <laughs> interrupting your moment of doing it. I took down, like, three of those things with my bare hands. Also, she needs some, like, medical help. She's not looking too good. That's terrible timing. We'll do what we can. Okay. This kind of, like, leads her in this area. And gives her a place to sit. Awkwardly scoots by and stands next to Spit that precedes the spit on his shirt. Oh, God, why every time? Every time I try to stand next to you. He just kind of gives you an eye like, fuck that kid. <laughs> like, fuck that kid. <laughs> he just kind of gives you that look. Fraser gives him a I nod. An agreement. I do not like the child. All right. Ace will step forward. Hello. She just seems to be kind of looking at her palms still. She hasn't you really uh, moved since they got here. Yeah. You doing all right? No response again. You hear her kind of muttering some stuff under her breath. Mm. He 
you open the cell? Sure. I don't think she's a threat. I'm just assuming we have the keys to open these. Yeah. They may not even be locked for all I know. <laughs> I'm sure you can you can just ask uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> You can ask the police officer, he'll give it to you and just you you can feel free to enter the cell. Can I get the keys to hers? Yeah. Sure. Kind of like goes in here and like reaches into a his desk and just kind of here's the uh, jail cell keys. Just make sure to give them back. Yes, sir. I assume you guys don't want those people you're putting in there to get out. Uh, for now, yes. All right. I'll keep that in mind if I see them trying to break out or I don't know. Just make sure you get the keys back to me. And I'll unlock the door. Okay. Do you want to tell me why she's like this? Well, you see, well, when we were on our way here, her mother crashed a van into the truck we were driving. And then it was just a gunfight after that. Ah. Uh. Unfortunately, her mother and her brother didn't survive. Not my preferred route. But alright. Ace will step in. Hey. Uh. Hmm. I'm not great with this kind of thing, but. He'll kind of sit on the edge of the bed. I am sorry for your loss. You just kind of hear... He doesn't really look at you or turn towards you. He's just hoping everything is supposed to remain the same. Everything. Nothing can stay the same forever, though. Change is a natural part of life. That's what I think every day. I mean, I I feel like I've grown to have friends now, which is nice. Most people just find me annoying, but I think I connect. I'm actually making connections here now. This is better than my old group. seems to calm down a little bit with your words wild card but this is something that can't simply be resolved in a single conversation something a lot more rooted she just well lost her family right mm -hmm. and well simply lost everything else she had as well. Yeah. Well, Card will take a deep breath and will hug her and simply say time will heal all wounds. Just have to give it a little while. It won't be easy, but you just have to look at the path ahead. If you need to talk, I'll be around, okay? And he'll smile. Yeah, as you kind of hug her, mm -hmm. she just starts crying. It's alright. As you kind of remain there for a moment, more people begin to arrive. Well... That will take a bit of releasing that needs to be done there. Mm-hmm. All right. 
compassion. <laughs> I don't know if that was you activating your memory, but it is technically know. a promise. However, I will state that with the events of what has been going on, your flaw memory has evolved. As you've, well, come to accept your condition and realize that even within the squad itself, they accept you for more who you are rather than looking at that surrounding feeling that comes with your condition itself. Mm -hmm. For the first time, you feel at peace with something that you have no control over. Is evolved to clarity. Yay! So you have both of those now. There you go. I think the next one to arrive probably would be Dahi. Because there's only two more left missing. Well, three. Battery, Dahi, and Charlotte, right? I'm not missing anybody in this grand scheme of thing, right? No, I don't want to... Go. Okay. <laughs> I don't want you guys uh, to be like, oh, what happened to that guy? Pearl's still missing. <laughs> Shut up, Thresh. That's another <laughs> issue entirely. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Dahi. <laughs> you, you step in. Ah, I made it back before him. Suck it, lightning boy. Just kind of like slumps a little bit against the desk because he is bleeding pretty bad. Oh, right, you see Dahi stumble in, just bleeding. Another <laughs> one that needs medical attention. Oh, oh, help yeah, I can do about it. There were some griffins. There were like three small ones, and I shot one real good. Beat the shit out of the other two. And then there was a big one. It. I ran from that one. It might be coming this way now. I think about it. Don't worry about that. Come over this way. It'll like lead him to the back. I still have the med kit, and I at least know how to use it somewhat decently, so... I might be getting to work on that. Oh, good to see you're in one piece too, Amelia. Yeah, uh, you look like you need to lie down. I'll be fine. Oh man, the ceiling's spinning. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs you. <laughs> Alright, come here, man. I'm happy you're alive. Just oh, it's good to see you over too, here. Paul. Looks like your sister's doing good, too. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Hey, uh. Any of you guys have any, like, med kits or anything? Anything remaining on your end? I have one. Uh, do you mind? I have made. <laughs> he should have one on him. He just takes yours out of your hand and goes over and starts patching up Dai. All right, let's let's see what he rolls. Beautiful. Uh, what a new god! Base can up to. Let me, let me read that real quick. On a natural twenty, you hear three injuries. Hmm. So, I will remove that from your list, Dahi, as you abuse your med kit. Yeah. Alright. Do I need to use mine on her? You can if you want to. That is a choice you have. She doesn't look the best, but he can, like, I will roll for each of them based on just a general treatment trick, because you can do that. If you want to see if you can patch her up without it before you use your med kit, you can. Okay. I can technically roll to assist. I have, like, a plus three. Yeah, and you can take half of what his is. So you can always attempt to treat something um, without med supplies. It's just a chance to heal one or heal zero is pretty much how it goes. You can heal two on a nat 20. Um, Kuri, as it stands, she's like one away from just killing over right now. So she does not yeah. look good. Uh, injuries for like minions and admin classifications are a lot more threatening just in in lore, not lore, but in mechanics as well. So, if you leave a, like, minion with two injuries, they have a... 
it's easier for them to die off their injuries rather than you guys because they are simply not as strong as trained professionals. But you can attempt that if you want to, which would just be a base treatment check. Yeah, we can try uh, one of us assisting the other. He has like a plus four, right? Yes. So if you want to assist him after you, you kind of get yeah. yourself back up. So give me that Hi roll. on morphine. We're going to try and treat her. Oh, can, can we use mine? Uh, that could be, I mean, I, I figured you were supporting him. Yeah. It's yeah. a, you, you just have to roll an eight or above, my friend. It's 15 is what the DC is for without. Yeah, but I got a nat 20. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I will take that nat 20 and give it to you. So you're able to, she is sustainable for the duration of this, at least. Most of these people obviously hey. will need more medical attention after all of this is transpired, but she's not in life threatening. She looks to be somewhat in a state of shock, though, with just what has transpired. Understood. Most people probably are. All right. Battery kind of stumbles in. He doesn't look the best either. Not as bad as Dahi, but he's just kind of... Okay. Just kind of leans against the wall this over here. Finally. Shortly after, Charlotte walks in. But before then... In her state of shock, she kind of stops crying, letting a lot out. Just kind of looks at you, wild card. Save. Please save her. Who? Save Pearl. He nods. He will. Just have to have faith. He smiles. Promise me. I promise. She just kind of still shaken, just kind of releases you and goes back, kind of sitting, staring at the wall. Why don't you lie down and get some rest? He just slowly nods and begins to lay down. He will close the cell and will not dare her once again for turning back. How'd I do? I think you did really good. <laughs> he smiles at that. Not used to praise. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd be able to talk to her. Yeah. Ah. I don't know why. I'm just a chatterbug. Yeah, that's good sometimes. I'm gonna lock her cell, just, I guess... I don't think she's a threat. Do you think we should even lock it? No. She's been through enough. Alright, then I'll just go return the keys. Mm -hmm. As you do that... Okay. <sighs> Charlotte begins to step in. She looks far better. Looks over the ba battery. You should probably sit. There you are. You look pretty rough as well. Looking directly at you, Fraser. I'll live. <laughs> mm. So, I've been moving my way this through the city. At this point, I believe all of the... All of the creatures are beginning to move here. It is probably because they do not want you, or me, 
to survive this. So as long as we stay here, I think they have a swarm to face. So I suggest that now we move out before it is too late. I agree. Hmm. Very well. I'll quickly prepare myself. He just kind of walks down this way. Spit. Kind of steps aside. With that, you guys need to decide now who you are bringing with you into the into basically the final dungeon of this campaign. As of right now, the people that want to go and is probably will go regardless is Charlotte, Battery. Those two are going regardless of what you say. <laughs> Paul will offer to go because he knows that is probably where Pearl is. However, he is not looking too great with his last fight that he did. For starters, everybody roll a 1d4. Whatever you roll, lower your injury account by that. As you prepare sh shortly as you are here, Okay. Rip, wild Darn. card. I you only get one it. back. Oh yeah, you took a few in there. Took two. Yeah. Counting so this close. is a long rest for healing as you guys basically spend what little time you have doing. If you have any med kits, you can pop them now freely. Don't know. Again, you, you don't know if you'll have a moment to have an extended action during what you're doing. Um, so... If you are pretty bad and want to use a med kit, go ahead. Currently, as it stands, if you want to know the party members that you're going with, where they are, I can tell you as well. No, I need to roll one for you. Okay. Uh, Paul is at three out of five. How's battery looking? Because if he, he was roughed up as much as I was. Um, he is four out of nine. <laughs> Actually, four out of ten. My bad. Can he use my med pack? I'm fully healed, so someone else needs to use it. I'm fully healed as well. I have one injury. I'm sitting at two, but that's fine. So if you wanted to, you could use a med kit on Paul and a med kit on Battery. Well, are we Charlotte taking Paul killed. with us? I would uh, imagine him staying here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's better if he stays here. Okay. But would you want to heal him up for, while leaving him here? Because he'll do these people better if he can actually take a hit. That's true. Do we have no. an extra med kit for that? I have mine, and I'm fully healed. Oh, okay. There is also... I mean, if you want to take Johnny, you can take Johnny. Um, no. You can take Spit. No. You can take Spit. You can also take Joe Looney. I think it's really your only options here. I... You could take the police officer in charge or the mechs with you, but that will lower the strength of overall. Yeah, I yeah, think that they good. still need a good fighting force. I'm okay with just, you know, taking the squad and battering throw. Yeah, same. Same. Okay. As much of a badass as Johnny is, they need him here for his kung fu karate. Let's hope that counterforce could show up quickly enough. Sad smaller squad means it's easier for us to go there unnoticed. True. That way we'll be able to drive out there lickety split. Out of, out of curiosity, as part of the deal, like the Fraser made with Charlotte, is. Matthew a part of that? Uh, that was asked earlier, and no. All right. Yeah, soon... He said no. He's staying in that jail cell. As soon as you said basically that he murdered a man, yeah, she was like no, because the if you remember the deal was she's 
that she, Battery, and anyone else involved is innocent on the grounds that they were basically manipulated into this and haven't directly mm -hmm. killed anybody. He actually has two deaths on his count because he technically killed Brighton early in Milo's fun adventure by pushing her into a water filled with horrendous looking sharks. Mm. Okay, so he's rotting in that jail cell as he should. Good. Yes. Yeah. Which that one was more accidental, but the, the other one that you discovered is directly him. <laughs> All right, he's going Don't on accidentally the... plunge a knife into somebody's chest. All right, he's Actually our new candidate for uh, ta ta <laughs> the Suicide Squad of this universe. Here we go. Perfect. I mean, he's going to probably, if everything works out and this this defense holds, he'll probably end up in a jail cell somewhere within Fort Carter's uh, gifted lock lockup, basically. Okay. Let's put him on the Suicide Squad of this universe. God. <laughs> Honestly, the only way that campaign would be unlockable is if all your gifted PCs get captured enough for that to be triggered. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, you know, fun. <laughs> I mean, it's still a possibility. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, you never know when you guys will run into the squad, the real stars. You know, what's fun about the promise Wildcard just made is that he is a man of his word. A promise is a promise. If you want to activate your memory for that promise, you can. Yes, I, I will. Okay, then we'll discuss that between now and the next session and get that mm -hmm. squared away. Um, Charlotte's at three. Battery is at five, I think. Is that what I said? He's four. at four. He said four. Okay, so whoever's using that med kit on him, go ahead and roll your treatment to see what you roll. Can I give it to the super dude that has, like... Uh. <laughs> super dude do you want super you want to know do you want to know his name because it hasn't been revealed sure lieutenant lou did it ah well uh, i will give him he's the also a, the rank of a lieutenant <laughs> god you no and your way pun names you say i'm bad man i feel yeah. bad for like all the time before he was a lieutenant <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The other police anyway. officer. Sorry, it's just, it's just uh, if you want to know the other pun name of the police officer. The other guy was named Billy Club. So. Nice. <laughs> He's no longer with us, unfortunately. Sad. I, I will give him the med kit and the jail keys and let him know that I left her cell unlocked, but the dude with, like, the dude with bird wings should not leave his cell, but she can't. Okay. Just to cover all my bases. All right. Oh, and uh, before I leave the police station with all this medical treatment and nonsense we're doing, I'm going to activate MacGyver. Okay. What are you looking for? Yeah, dirty rags. That works. I, I have a feeling I know what they're, where this is going, because I know what else you've been holding on to since, like, session three. Yeah, I... Uh, 100% no, I'm making that custom Molotov. Yep. <laughs> uh, I would like to stock up on smoke grenades. I think that could be useful. And regular grenades. Uh, I believe I stated that they probably have smoke grenades, but not regular yeah, grenades. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, uh, smoke grenades. I want to stock up on smoke grenades. You can take one additional with you. I'll allow you to do that. Alright. I'm saving my big boy grenade for a, a needy scenario. And that might be next session. Yeah. Okay. So, I will state this. Regardless of what happens here, this group will have to be fighting against the um, chimeras. Because, well, frankly, everyone that knows what is going on here is currently standing in the room. So... Regardless of what you do, you have to fight them. You have not taken down the uh, giant uh, griffin, and you have not, I believe, I don't think the other one was rolled. Um, the other giant uh, owl bear. So mm -hmm. they'll be fighting that force. You're basically leaving everybody that is willing to be convinced and stayed. Um, 
with a promise to, I guess, Paul that you will find Pearl in this instant and, well, make sure she escapes. Mm -hmm. Or lives. Yeah. <laughs> um, Personally, both. Yeah. Lives and escapes his laboratory. Yeah. Um, so with that, we have a few more scenes to do, and then we'll wrap up. So right. let me move you all here. The six of you will proceed. Oh, so. Oh, you can go ahead. Where what you... if everyone died except Wildcard? That would be a sad campaign. That would be a very sad campaign. Congratulations, oh. Wildcard. You got a new memory. PTSD. Yay. I'm all alone. But that Again. gives me power. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It just gives him sadness. Anywho. All of you proceed to load up into some of the police cars and make your way to, well, the St. Asaph's campgrounds. Up around the side of the school, there are several campgrounds, etc. And as you proceed through them, at this point, most, most of the force that you expect to hit don't expect you to be out this way. Most of them have moved into the city already, so it's just getting to the campgrounds itself to see, well, come across a few unfortunate campers. But other than that, your path up to the small little cabin that Charlotte used to own is almost empty. Almost creepily empty. And you proceed to see and end up at a destroyed cabin. Charlotte leading the group. So, it is in a much worse shape than I expected it to be. Very well. Let's get to work. Oh, damn, the morphine's starting to wear off. I mean, I could probably shock you and make you numb if that would help. No, thank you, though. I'm going to be honest, I've never done that before, so it could very much end with your heart going out. Yeah, that's... You test that out on, like, anyone else first. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably not me! Okay. I mean, yeah, if any one of us like, goes down and our heart stops in the middle of whatever we're doing here, go ahead and try it, I guess, but I mean, if you think it'll work, that'd be hilarious. Anyway, let's get digging. I mean, I don't... <laughs> he starts, like, moving, and all of you proceed to kind of dig your old... Charlotte kind of tells you that the, the actual point is uh, the southern section of this, so you kind of focus on doing that. Most of the house is caved into the center. It legitimately looks like something crashed through the center of it and came out the other side. Um, there's a few kind of scorch marks and those burns across the grass itself. It seems like something went down here, but... You proceed to make your way working in towards the, the building itself, and it eventually the plan with him, well, not noticing you here, seems to be going well as you're not confronted with anything, and eventually you find a latch. After using your kind of collective weapons, the hatchet, etc., you're able to basically break into a section that was probably some sort of mechanism that opens up to kind of reveal this entrance down. And all of you proceed to go down the ladder, going far underneath the town of St. Asaph. Let me gather you all up. That's going to pick up some of that, so I need to... You land after going far underground.
find yourself within Dr. Valabob's laboratory. They all step down, kind of red lights illuminating. Almost nothing else remains in this place. It's just, there's nothing illuminating the halls. It's simply it's just this red light. Hopefully, if all goes according to plan, we'll have what we ha need at the end of this hall. By the way, battery. Yeah. Does that blue stuff have any side effects? I don't know. Never taken it before. Mm. It's just now that apparently does something to those that are gifted. So if like you take it or or um Charlotte takes it, I don't think it'll do anything. Ah, I gotcha. Well, if you don't know what the side effects are, you might want to save it as a last resort. For all we know, it might make you, I don't know, chuck up your guts. I think that's the least of my worries. Eh, fair enough. When you enter what appears to be some sort of tram, a small station underneath the very grounds of St. Asaph. A rail kind of keeps you from even going down into the railing itself. You look down both directions and it just kind of goes into a dark, empty tunnel. As you kind of approach it, there seems to be some sort of some sort of mechanism set up at the end of this it kind of surrounds it. It is almost like a bigger best way to describe it is a bigger like mine card kind of has a wall on the sides that kind of go around it, casing it about two feet up. That You can kind of just lift yourself and step over into the, the cart itself. Charlotte kind of freely goes over it. Looks like he's unaware of this one. Figured. Figured it was destroyed. Or at least I would have forgotten about it. Kind of moves down this way as people load in. Are you sure about this? And his laboratory is most likely filled with the same creatures that we've been fighting all day. With more. Let me put it this way. There is less of a chance of escaping once we <laughs> enter the main facility. So if any of you want to step out, this would be the time to do so. Because after we leave, the chances of living are very slim. I've made a promise, and I'm a man of my word. Them chances of living is my job. There's a civilian in need, and that means that we've got to go in there, whether we like it or not. This battery is just kind of burden the bear. We've got to do what we can. Very well, then. I admire your will. I doubt that I would do this alone, to be honest. She turns to kind of this bow and just kind of steps forward. 
I would hold on tight. She flicks the switch, and it begins to pick up speed, almost knocking you all to the ground, trying to grab the walls as it picks up. With that, you begin entering... Entering the laboratory itself. But somewhere else, someone is busy working away. Typing away at the machinery that he... His focus, his life for the past year. He looks towards something... Something almost set up, hanging in the center of the room. He takes a few steps, hits a few keys, approaches it. As he takes out a needle, a needle filled with the same liquid that one French's rue carries in his pocket. Soon, my dear. Soon you will awake. Soon. As he inserts it into a hanging figure, the one remains of Theodora Valavov is the doctor himself. This is last and final attempts as you approach his laboratory. With that, the session comes to a close. As one more session remains, we will truly see the madness of one Dr. Valavolve.